All right, welcome in. Hello, Mythical. How you doing today? Good to see you all here. How we doing? All right. Well, it's that time once again. We're gonna get back into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, possibly for the last time. I think we're pretty much at the end of the game. Last time we left off, uh, we finished up the Temple of the Ancients. Cloud and Aerith fell into a giant chasm, and uh, apparently they woke up in some form of alternate reality or something. Or at least their doppelgangers did, and whatever the hell's going on in Zack's world. So, we'll figure out what is up with that. Uh, potentially, if it doesn't go on for too long, I might try to do some of the uh, Gilgamesh stuff. And uh, maybe replay a chapter. We'll see how it goes. If not, um, I don't know if it's going to be a super short stream, but I could always go back, and I do have it kind of set up. I could always go back to the original, and we could plug in an hour of that and maybe do the uh, recap or the uh, flashback at Nibelheim. Uh, so whatever works with that, we'll just play it by ear. So let's uh, go ahead and get on into it. Timeline stuff gets confusing real fast. I'm not sure. They're, so they've been doling it out in very infrequent spurts. And I don't think there's been enough information that's been given so far. <laughs> and it's like I'm towards the end of the game. Uh, so they better do it quick. But yeah, I don't feel like there's been enough information that's been given out so far to uh, formulate any sort of coherent uh, thoughts as to what the hell is even going on with this. It seems like it's potentially some form of alternate universe instead of maybe an alternate timeline uh, just because of the weird I don't want to call them its consistencies, but the, like the strange things like the phenomenon going on in the sky um, but who knows, maybe we'll figure it out by the time we get to this end, the end of this stuff uh, so hopefully some answers will crop up some light will be shed on the situation but let's go ahead and get things started here all right Back at the, uh, I don't usually start at the menu, but um, I had to on this occasion because I plugged in a different game in the meantime. Uh, considering how far along we were, it's not like I could go back and uh, do any like grinding or anything with the uh, save file that I was working on, so we'll see. Now let's go ahead and boot it up. Chapter 14, beginning of this chapter, end of the world. We already saw a cutscene that had uh, Zack decide he was going to go after um, whatever cure was going to be helping out um, Cloud in, I believe, Hojo's lab is where he was planning on going. Uh, it was either that or stop Biggs from blowing up Reactor 6, uh, which he was like, eh, guess I won't be doing that. I'm like, oh, oh okay. I figure, well, I don't know. I don't know where um, Elmira's place is. It's kind of like around plate six, right? That might cause an issue. We'll see. But uh, let's find out what we're doing here. And right when we like just just left off, uh, Aerith was waking up Cloud, who was still in his wheelchair, and uh, telling him to get up. So she got him up. She started running downstairs, and here we are. Let's take a walk, okay? Fair enough. One thing, you have to promise not to look up. Hmm? Because I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm going to have to look now, right? <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? Yeah, what is that? Explain yourself. Ah, sector five. Okay, so it's not in six. Hey, let's check it out. Come on. <laughs> what a shop. Can I, can I, can I? 
can I? Please. Does he even have money at this point? Which one do you want? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free, but remember, it's <laughs> one per person. This is it. After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? <laughs> Must be in some sort of uh, purgatory or something. It was cute. Uh, when she puffed out her cheeks, I was like, <laughs> well... Can't not give a gift to her. Gold bracelet, pink thing, or the stamp figurine. If it was me, I'd prefer the stamp figurine. Also, that's a weird stamp. I don't even know that we've seen that one before. We've seen that one that looks kind of like a hound. We've seen one that looks... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the other one was, but I don't think it was that. It's like a Pomeranian or something. But sure. That one. Ah, I'm so sorry. I meant everything but that one. <laughs> tell you what. what kind of game are you playing? Else? I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. But it's so small. Perfect, even. <laughs> the illusion of choice. I didn't even get to choose anything. I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. Who the hell are you? Now, Acting like you next. he's some man of import. That way. Come on. Ugh, fine. I can't even move. <laughs> I was like, can I like tug away from her? Ooh, gum. It's your lucky day, you two. Feel free to take whatever you'd like. Oh, but only one per person. Then we better choose wisely. Is this like the uh, the communist alternate universe? Uh, Cosmo Candy looks minty, which I don't generally like for candy is a, a breath refresher that's fine but I kind of want that that looks like some sort of caramel or possibly flan type candy but uh, maybe this one I'll take one of those then I'll have one of those all right hmm though these aren't the only treats I've got you know how about I want I picked the dog I want the My dog I don't want that what is that really they look like gissel greens Let's try it that's for chocobos sure. go on enjoy uh, I don't think so <laughs> that face didn't exactly elicit uh <laughs> enjoyment Figured I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. You know, for forgiveness, you should give us if one of those we all had more time. treats I that I picked. Sounds like learn how to Pretty cook, sure you old egg. What's up, Bonto? Stall owner with the meteorologist haircut from the 90s. So that'll be 40,000 yen each. It was free. It was just uh, apparently awful tasting. Cut 
coming through. Okay, I don't even get to do anything with Zack. <laughs> I gotta play the stupid date game and uh, Zack's doing all the cool so stuff. this is where you've been hiding. In a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. Well, that's what I was saying. It's like you, the illusion of choice once again. You force something on me. I want the one that I picked. I've only got one shot left. Uh -huh. We were next. <laughs> We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos together. We don't have any either. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> Literally just walked up. How about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who's judging this? Oh god. Oh, that one was kind of lame. <laughs> that lovely looking white couple over there. <laughs> uh, what is that? Dance hold. It's showtime. I don't know. I kind of like the it's showtime one. <laughs> the modeling okay, pose is kind of boring. You two smile real big for the camera now. They were very out of place. Hold on, Biggs. I'm coming. Oh, wait, I thought he wasn't going for Biggs. I thought he was going for... Ho well, maybe he went to Hojo's lab and then got it and then went over to Biggs. Who's now eating potato chips. Reactor busted. Seems it's all out of Mako. I'm still sucking away, but the only thing it's pulling up is dirt. Uh, meaning? That the live stream's bone dry. Bomb one reactor, bomb them all. Planet's done either way. And so are we. Oops. Run! Who's coming? Who isn't coming at this point? Uh, that it? Bomb barely made it through testing. Figures it'd fail for real. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? Yeah, I bet it was one of Jesse's. I'm <laughs> useless. Can't even make a damn bomb. You're Jesse's blueprints. Useless. For a moment there, I thought my life might have some meaning, but... It doesn't mean shit. Well, that's where you're wrong. Want to know why? Because you mean a lot to a lot of people. So come on, man. <laughs> and they're all dead. Thanks, but why are you here? Yeah, about that. Never mind. I know. Kind of obvious now I think about it. World may be ending and all, but a bombing's still a bombing. That's part of it, too. But mostly, I was worried about you. That bleeding heart. It'll get you killed. I don't know. I just... I wanted to take action. Take charge. Take control. To know that I had a choice. That this path, this world was one I chose. I wanted to take back my life. Oh, okay. I thought he stabbed him. I'm like, what? <laughs> Guess that was his choice. Buddy? Who was here? No. Who shot him? No. Biggs, get up! No. Oh, I thought it was going to be some big reveal. End of the road, huh? Fate's got one twisted sense of humor. Again? And I'm always the punchline. But I'm sick of taking it shit! 
This is my life. I make the rules. It's Zack's always fated to get shot up by a bunch of Shinra soldiers. Always getting in the way, that's right. Later. Bye. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. <laughs> why? Well, I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> Explain Just yourself. While you can, huh? See ya. Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that. Talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask? Hmm. It's one of my most favorite places. Uh, Can I make it any more obvious? Uh, I don't know, the church? Oh, was, oh wait, maybe not. A cloud. Biggs. Which? Or Aerith. Jesse. How the hell am I supposed to choose? Why did Johnny like <laughs> to run across for a minute? Sephiroth! Hey! I think he was just there to show off the uh You want a piece of me? No. Not you. I can't even remember the name of the stamp, the dog. Let us know that we're in a different universe or something. It was all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, it isn't over yet. His teddy bear is one of the stamp dogs, I think. Zack, I don't have any clue what you're trying to do, buddy. This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? You'll have yeah. to get me harder next time. Next time. <sighs> At least I know now. Where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then... Like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's liking. Seriously, what's going <laughs> it was on? a hack of joke. <laughs> You've been weird all day. You should expect that from me on occasion. I'm sorry. Yourself. 
Almost sounds like you know what's going to happen. Cloud. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. I'll be okay. Your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So <laughs> thank you, Cloud. For everything. The business on the hardwood floor. <laughs> Might be his only chance. What is this? Ah, oh, missed opportunity. <laughs> you don't like her with her hair down? It's been fun. It's odd, yeah. Eric! And I guess we're back. Looks weird. Yeah, kinda. Behold. It's unusual considering it's always in a braid. Of reality. Really, the only time you see her with her hair. Well, <laughs> spoilers. It's at the uh, end of the uh, City of the Ancients. When in the, the original game, is the only time you see her with her hair down, I think. New worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. And in the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. We'll see, I have my worries, but uh, I mean, the presentation is fine so far, but I'll uh, reserve my judgment Listen to the planet, Cloud. until I see all of this play her out. Her ecstatic cries, her rapture. Screaming! It's screaming! Oh, Cloud. I thought you might finally understand. Cloud. Lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Let go of the past, Cloud. For the future is bright. There's a clip we from the end of a remake. To the reunion of worlds.
I give you my blessing. Push back. I think he's trying. Yeah, there's like a flash forward or alternate reality type thing where Cloud was one of the robed men. Where am I? <laughs> that doesn't belong here. Ah, too bad. Brought it anyway. Very poor form. What's going on, Scoob? How you doing tonight? Fighting whispers, eh? Haven't done that in a while. Planning on streaming tonight? I don't have any ATB gauges. It's like I don't have any abilities or anything to actually use. Straight up regular combat. <laughs> now you're Filipino, but when you see the stream, all you can say is Philippine. Yes. <laughs> Man's been working on that line since I uh, let him know. It's a good one. Need needed some time to cook. <laughs> Well, well. We meet again. You're okay. Sephiroth's here. I can feel it. Watching us. Better not do anything naughty. Yeah. Set up the last three nights journaling it. <laughs> You've been testing it in different rooms. Let's forget about him. Seeing what the him. reaction is. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you. Cole. No, you're not. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. Um. He's planning to use the black materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Mainstream night, but you've been drinking again. But don't want to play Fall Guys. Oh. What, what other... I don't know. That, every time you say that you've been drinking, you say you want to play Fall Guys. I don't know that you have another, like, drinking game. I think he said you would uh, do it every once in a while with Texas Chainsaw, but I think he put that one to bed a while ago. Um, anyway, I was going to say about this, too, is, like, this was, I think, towards the end of Disc 2... Uh, almost exactly like this, where Aerith was like kind of popping in and out of the woods and stuff, and she's like, "Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll take care of Sephiroth." But that wasn't—I mean, technically, it was after uh, the Temple of the Ancients, but it was prior to getting, like, right before you get into the City of the Ancients. So uh, we're kind of muddling up the timelines. Don't want to. That's what you're capable of when it gets sloppy. I got gotcha. you. We can't be having any uh, sloppy toppies. It's just unsightly and unnecessary. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. I barely had it. I had it, it for like five minutes. It belongs with you. Oh, there's a lot of disc two that's uh, oh, now it's empty. It's like a bubble. Empty. But anyway, there, there's a good grip of disc. I forget where disc one ends exactly, but I, disc two, I think, ends. 
actually maybe not now that i'm thinking about it maybe the city of the ancients was at the end of disc one i it's been a long time since i played uh final fantasy 7 the original that was probably ooh, like seven years ago <laughs> so oh yeah she also put her hair back uh and i I'm, i don't abstain i'm not like a straight edge or anything um but i don't like drink often i like um cocktails more than i like beer like i'm very particular with my beer it's usually got to be a lager or a stout and like nothing in between i'm not a fan of ipas um and like all my friends drink ipas so every time they got beer it's like eh, i'm good <laughs> I think one of them caught on and he started stocking like some loggers or stouts every now and again, but who knows how long they've been in there. Um, but yeah, I usually you like those piss water ones. <laughs> um, my friend used to drink a lot of uh, Pabst. He was, he was a big Pabst fan, which he would call the, the piss water. So Coors and Bud, I got you. Uh, the family usually, I think my mom in particular, she usually has buds on hand, bud light. And he drinking a room tap. Oh my goodness. We got a real man on our hands here. Aaron. I got to drink a cool Come and I, I, I like him after I've been like doing something. It gets me all worked up. <laughs> Go away. Whispers. You don't drink anything cold. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the cold drinks. Tepid, like, room temperature stuff doesn't always fly with me. I'll do it if I have to, but I, I usually got to be either hot or cold. Um, but I'm a bigger fan of cold stuff. I think, I don't know, maybe it's got something, to, maybe it's different for everybody, but I think it's maybe have something to do, because I've got, like, I always have, like, I feel like I'm burning up. I'm always hot. And not just in the looks, but, like, my body temperature always feels like it's up there. So... I like the cooler stuff to try to bring that down a bit. Where are we at? What's going on here? Oh my goodness. happen to Kate unless he's just like begging for forgiveness prostrating himself I actually I think I, I mean I haven't finished it I'm at the very end of this game I think but so uh, I don't know if you're bothered about spoilers you probably played the original though but um, I think that actually this one's a little bit better than, than remake part one um, this one was a little bit more faithful to the original um, I felt like, cause with remake, you know, when it, I think when it was replicating actual stuff from the game, it was good. But when it like kind of divulged and did like these little extra tidbits, I, I got kind of bored with it in certain spots. Um, but this one is stuck closer to the core game and I found it more fun throughout. I, I really can't think of any, I, spots where i was like eh, that, that part wasn't as great there were some s spots where i was like this isn't as good as the original or they potentially ruined you know spots they replicated but um so far i've actually enjoyed it quite a bit combat's really fun all the different characters feel like completely different so when you have them in your party and you're switching around and stuff it's uh fun to kind of mix up tactics and have like slightly different gameplay please tell me you're okay <laughs> i think we'll still be alive when the last one drops oh maybe but i thought you were done for it's gonna be a minute yet i'm sure they actually came out with this one relatively fast because i mean that first part came out in 2020. They told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods and that the setra built a very special altar there that's where she's headed i'm sure of it Problem is, Sephiroth stole the black materia. Also, hope they bring it to uh, the Sony's been pushing to have all their exclusives on PC eventually, so I'm, I've got no doubt that it's going to be on PC. 
Just don't know how long it's gonna be. A year or two, maybe. No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and she's out there, all alone. Then we'd better hurry. Early, this is 2028, maybe. You gotta remember, though, they developed this game during the pandemic, and like everybody was affected by that globally. Sometimes you just know. Uh, so that might have put a strain on the development time, so it actually might be quicker to develop part three. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay. Then Xbox Pierce, yeah, I think they're pretty much out. I mean, you don't always they've got console like exclusives. Now. Everybody seems right, to like uh, double went. dip. He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. <laughs> it's my fault. It's kind of mine too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. It's all your fault, Yuffie. Well, um, obviously Nintendo's still like the one of the three, the one major company that will hold on to exclusives and until they go bankrupt, <laughs> which probably is never going to happen. They've come close a couple times, but uh, I think they might have built themselves up a nice little wall to prevent that uh, at this point. But um, Sony, Sony's pushing hard. They'll have like basically timed uh, exclusives, and then eventually it'll be uh, released on PC in a year or two, whatever they might have. But yeah, like all their games lately have been making a move. Uh, I mean, the Forbidden West, the Horizon game, just got released on PC not that long ago. Ghost of Tsushima, I think, is coming out like in a month or two. Um, but yeah, they uh, they'll, they'll still have console exclusives. And so even if it's on PC, it's like you're not going to get it on Xbox. But Xbox is like, it seems like they're done. <laughs> they might be throwing in the towel pretty soon here and going the route of Sega, maybe just strictly producing uh, games and pulling out of the console market and everything. I know Phil Spencer or whatever still wants to fight the good fight, but uh, results ain't exactly fortuitous for them. Uh, but like gaming as a whole, I think a lot of these game companies, just so many of them, big and small, are just in some dire straits these days. I think the industry's just gotten a little bit too bloated. I've been waiting for that video game crash. I want a second one. I am all set. I've got a backlog. No more new games for... 20 years <laughs> I'll, I'll be set but you know it's just one of those things we'll see what happens I doubt the, the industry is going to crash completely but it might come to a point where it gets a lot smaller we'll, we'll see how it goes I think the next 5 years is probably going to be pretty telling also it said there's another state of Xbox developed games headed to Playstation uh, and a lot of ones are in development it's going to be headed this way too be surprised if Halo isn't on PlayStation in the next two years. That'd be a big one, but yeah, I mean, could be. We could be looking at that. We'll see. I, I do think, just given the way things are going, it could very well be possible that Microsoft will just go full publisher and uh, not worry about consoles or exclusives. I think it would probably end up being more profitable for them in that case, but I don't know. They could give it one more try with one more console. Uh, I feel like probably in the next few years we're going to see another wave. We'll see what happens, but if they do end up making one and it's a failure, I don't think they're going to do it one after that. They thought Game Pass would grow forever, but it hit a stale point. I have all these people that pay for games on Game Pass, but not many new subs. Uh, do not hope that the game industry crashes 40% of your stocks in game companies. <laughs> well, alright. For Scoob's sake, I hope that it doesn't, but uh, just for... <laughs> personal vested interests uh um i, I think uh I, you know i'd be fine i'd be i personally not caring about the monetary situations um i think uh, i'd be set i'd just i'd live off of everything that came before um the only problem is that if it does crash that does come, maybe put a damper on like current consoles and uh, potentially stuff like on PC where you have all these digital libraries because like if so these companies fold up, it's like, what are they going to do with those? So I bet you um, uh, probably a good few of them aren't going to let you like download 
those games still. They'll probably just pack up and call it good and they're out skis. 20% take two, not looking forward to it, but you think GTA 6 might be the biggest game ever made? I mean, you're not looking forward to the game, but you think it'll be a monster. No, I understand that. I mean, pretty much anything Rockstar put this their name on these days has some form of success. Something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. Got sent to another world. Unless it's a remaster. There's at least a few more than one. But if it's something developed by them and take two, I think uh, probably going to end up seeing some good profits there. Is it just me or. Is there something the only thing with Rockstar is they, they just take forever to develop a game. Do you see them in it too? The whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid and more than likely it also costs a lot of money. A lot of people are saying that GTA 6 is going to be like the most expensive game ever made by a high margin. Maybe. Why'd I have to open my mouth? I don't know, Red. Keep it closed. I think we'd all be better for it. Hey Cloud, promise me, if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know, okay? <laughs> what kind of weird thoughts? For example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk to me or someone at least. All right, I can do that. Well, at this point, GTA 5's online is basically a live service. I mean, just like with the content updates that they do with that. It's like they still make a lot of money off that, and I'm sure they're making money off shark cards and everything else, so. Not to you, so. I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happen to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, no, you I'm don't. Still pretty pissed. <laughs> Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, you're on the smaller end of the grand we'll scheme of things. And we'll fry those fish together. They do, and you'd think that they would probably have a similar situation in terms of that long-term income with GTA 6, but they tried to do something similar with Red Dead Redemption 2, and it did not work out in terms of that online. So hopefully, whatever mistakes they made with the process of that, they learned from that. And, uh, you know, either they'll still have a strong foothold with, oh my god, what are we doing here? <laughs> I didn't expect the City of the Ancients to be, like, actually here. The Ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Alright, hold on. Uh, talks to GTA 6 being delayed. Like, hell, no reason. Uh, been a whole generation since the last one. I mean, they're making bank without not doing a whole lot, so it's like... If that's the structure, it's sim similar to other game development companies, like when you think of like Valve and stuff, it's like, oh, they don't have to work. They're getting a lot of money from another so uh, source of their uh, industry, so it's like, why <laughs> why even bother? Uh, also, the stock dropped like three months ago when they had a disappointing EPS, so you jumped in hard. I got you. Not a bad move to make. We'll see. I, I bet you it will pay off once it releases, though. I just wonder about that long term if it's going to have as much sustainability as GTA 5 does. Um, and even still, uh, you wonder if like the GTA 5 user base would move on to 6 or if they would stick there and still be able to, you know, Rockstar and take 2 and make a profit off of that. Who knows? Interesting things to think about on occasion. Until today. The Forgotten Capital. This is it, right? Okay, so in the original game, there was like an ass load of stuff <laughs> that uh, was like in between the uh, Temple of the Ancients and the city, but all right. I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams fancy altar. Eric's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. I was fortunate enough to pick up NVIDIA last year. Don't know how much I follow that stuff. Not uh, uh, anything that I'm has to do with like stocks. Say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze too. Hold on. Look at them though. Yeah. 
They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. <clears throat> Alright, I sneezed. Anyway. I'm waiting, Cloud. Oh, he's waiting for us. Zero zero, welcome in. How you doing tonight? Good to have you here. What is all this? It's the end. Anyway, the stocks and stuff, I, I only have a peripheral vision on, so I'm not following it too closely. But usually if it's related to anything within the video game industry, I have a little bit more insight to it than, like, most other fields, but... Good, Aerith. Pray. His eyes turned into cat eyes. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. This in particular is a... You can definitely tell when there's a pre-rendered cutscene versus the in-game models. In-game models still look very good, but the pre-rendered cutscenes are like a step above. It's kind of funny that this in this day and age they're still doing pre-rendered cutscenes, but there's, there's a purpose for it. And it's not as big of a shift because... Okay, so now we're back into the in-game stuff. This is running with the in-game engine. But it's, it's funny that... You know, th almost 30 years after the original, we're, we're still using the same techniques. Also, you definitely don't want to work, for work forever, so you had to get another form of income. Started investing hard about three years ago. I gotta get into that, because I got money sitting. Um, and I feel like I need to get a little bit more on the investing game, but... It's a little, it's a little daunting, so. Heads up. I wonder if it, if pre-rendered cutscenes, I don't know that it would save them money because I would bet you that the rendering techniques are still the same, but they just look a little bit better. I bet you more than anything, it has to do with performance. It probably, like as much as, as because usually when they do a pre-rendered cutscene, there's a lot of stuff going on, which they don't do it too often. Um, with this one, there was a lot of like particles. Uh, you know, the sky was opening up. There was a life stream coming out. Um, and uh, the last time we saw it was during the last stream when the Temple of the Ancients was like assembling itself and then crumbling apart. So there's like a lot of different like moving parts to it. So I bet you more than anything, it has to do with what the in-game engine can handle. And uh, they probably pre-render it to um, prevent there being any like slowdown, sluggishness, anything that would prevent the game from you know being able to keep up the same pace that it's been going at. But yeah, I don't know. You could be right. There could be something to it where it might be a little bit cheaper, more cost-effective. But I don't know. It is, but average stock market rise per year is still like eight percent. It's better than your best savings bond, as if you just do average. Yeah, yeah. I bet you there's a lot of different benefits to getting into the whole stock game. I just wonder if I'd be able to keep up with it as much as is necessary in order to, you know, not lose out on stuff. <laughs> That's the only thing that worries me is just like not making the money that I invest back. But at the same time, with inflation and everything going on, it's not really a good idea just to hang on to a bunch of money either, so... Gotta do something with it. ETF for sure. Yeah, those are... Uh, supposed to be more stable, huh? You just put money in and get money back. I don't even know what this party is. Tifa and Barrett? That's not my usual crew. Where's my Yuffie? Uh, Mythical's been getting into investing, too. All grown-ups here. We gotta start getting in on this stuff, I suppose. 
this thing go. I'm gonna see if I can uh, possibly uh, start buffing up the party a bit. Last time we had to fight whispers like this, that was I think back in a uh, remake, early to the like maybe middle of the game. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're not adults. Oh boy, I'm missing a lot of these me missed mega potions. So you don't like recommending, but you uh, do XLK tech ETFs, so they only invest in tech. Always average more than 20% return in the last five years. Your number one ETF you own. All right. Good to know. That'd be good for some other people, too. Um, I'm going to use another one of these. Missed Mega Potions. Not certified stock experts, so. <laughs> If you lose all your money, it's, it's not on you, I guess, right? 20% per year. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I can imagine some of these, uh, the la last couple chapters in this game being a bit of a pain on hard mode. I don't think I'm going to be uh, attempting it. I did a little bit of hard mode in Remake, but it was just a little bit too bullshitty for my liking, so I stopped. I don't need to spend time on this. Kinda wanted to go for the platinum, but it's it's too much. Heal me, Barrett. Actually, heal Tifa. That cloud could probably take care of himself for a second. Also, if you pay zero attention to it, they're investing your money for you, so if you want to throw it in and leave it, it's a good way to go. Uh, and after a year to have to pay almost uh, no taxes. Okay. Well, see, that's a, that's a good thing right there, too. When did I lose so much uh, MP? Off. There we go. I will have to uh, look into that then. Sounds like some some good advice there, Mr. Uh, Scoobert, and I appreciate it. It's like we're back on the expressway. Good attempt. Are we supposed to get through? Shouldn't be <laughs> Why you're sitting here drunk talking Just about ETFs. I, I don't know words. either, but it's uh, it's appreciated regardless. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Honto. Hato, have you heard Scoob's um, investment advice? You plan on taking advantage of any of that? Aerith. You used to just talk about boobs and wieners. <laughs> uh, it comes a point where you gotta up the ante in terms of the conversation, so I can understand. Speaking of wieners. Oh, thank you, Vincent. Go. Mm. 
Yeah, that is the Scoob's health advice. It's top tier. <laughs> I've heard some of Scoob's health advice on some of his streams. Some good takeaways. I mean, you see the condition the man's in. It's gotta be something to it, right? No, you don't. Hence, he doesn't need the stock advice. He won't be around much longer. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe Hanto is one of those people that takes advice and does the opposite. Um, not that I want to shoo anybody away. God, no. I appreciate everybody here watching and everything. But um, if we're at the City of the Ancients, there's going to be like a major spoiler that happens here. So, you know, if you need to take off, I'm just warning you right now. <laughs> So, uh, be prepared, because there's going to be, uh, pro I don't know, maybe they'll change it up. Uh, but either way, we're at the end of the game, so there's definitely going to be, uh, something happening in terms of story. But, just saying, prepare yourselves. With that out of the way, let me, uh, go ahead and see what I could do here. Should I use an elixir? It seems like such a waste. Yeah, I got a little bit enough high ethers and stuff. I can't, I couldn't get to 50. This game is damn hard to level up in. I wish I could. But thank you, level 49. <laughs> can't focus on the game because the commentary is too amazing. Uh, we're all just having a chat here. I will say though, usually when like important cutscenes are going on, if, if people are just like bantering back and forth in the game, I'll talk over it. But like if there's like story or something going on and like some major plot points, I'll usually try to shut up. And if I, if I absolutely cannot, I will pause the game and um, talk amongst ourselves and chat for a sec. But sometimes can't do that. Also, do we find out Tifa's honkers are fake? What? <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. It's a little bit of a twist. Oh, there was a bench up there? I did not see it. Okay, well, the map doesn't really tell me much of anything anyway. <laughs> Let me see if I... Well, I mean, I wasted the high potions and the ether already, so... Oh, my goodness, I appreciate that. Sub, Mr. Scoob, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You are too kind, sir. Uh, also, it doesn't seem like I can actually get up. Oh my goodness, and we got some bits too. I don't know what the bit alert is. Oh, is it just the regular, like the generic one? Well, that's fun too. I thought it was like a... I thought I... Uh, man, I could have sworn I had a special one. Oh well. Whatever. I'll play... Uh, we got a, I don't know, I got a sound here. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Wait, no, 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 that's not. <laughs> you want it? It's yours, my friend. All right. Uh, no, that doesn't help. All right, whatever. <laughs> None of these are exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you, whoever, who, who was that? Oh my goodness, I got Hanto subbing too. I appreciate it. Also, Aerith is praying at the altar of hopes and putting us, uh, of putting a stop. Wait. At the altar, hopes, in hopes of putting a stop to Sephiroth's plans. Thank you. I can't read. Uh, there'll be no chance to rest beyond this point. Make sure your party is prepared for whatever may come before you rush to her side. I ain't got no party right now, Chief. It ain't happening. But all right. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for playing my game. And the game is just us. My game is just us bantering. Where did you learn to read? I don't know, I'm all flustered because people are like doing things on stream. Like subbing to me, which uh, sounds worse than it actually is. <laughs> One of those D gens that well, what are you guys talking about? All right. Oh my goodness. Thank you. 
Scoob. I think, uh... Oh, no, my Mythical. I thought Scoob gifted one. Oh, no, no, he did. Okay. Scoob gifted one and the Mythical got it. Oh, what are the chances? <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. What's up with you guys? Scooby should get drunk more often and come in here. Spend money on me. Too kind, though. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that I might need, but I think in terms of, like, materia and everything, we've got everything we can get. Most of the... Eh, I could get a couple giga potions. I did get a grip of money while we were in the Temple of the Ancients last time, but it wasn't anything... Like, maybe 30,000 gil? It's not that much. And I ended up spending most of it just trying to get more potions. Oh, you're target subbing. Okay, I got you. A lot of times when people just, like, randomly gift sub something, it just, like, goes off to some random person. Sometimes I'll get a gift sub for some channel I've never even seen before. Sometimes the emotes are fun, so I ain't complaining, but still. <laughs> Zara doesn't get one until they follow, though. Ooh, called out. No, you can follow if you want, or if you don't want to. Doesn't matter. I'm going to take a look at the... I'm not, it's not, I'm not that broke. Oh, no, I am. I did spend, I did spend a lot of money, didn't I? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, Sarah. Like <laughs> we got 9,000 gil. It's the end of the game, though. What do you expect? Defense versus magic defense. On minus 32, ah. magic defense is pretty bad, but... <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, Scoop, for the other additional gift sub. On fire today. Additional defense with this one, I'm kind of wondering if we do have a final boss battle, which I'm assuming we will, um, whether or not it's going to be something that does physical damage or magic damage. I guess we won't know until we get into the actual battle. But... If I check here and see if there's anything, especially something that's not equipped. Fortification is fine. You think uh, you had 180,000 by the time you hit this part? I mean, I've done a little bit of grinding off stream. Not even grinding, but just like trying to get like side quest stuff done. And I've gotten most of it done. Most of the regions are complete. Like if we take a look at the map here. Um, it's like... Ne Nebel's complete, corell has got a couple side quests, but otherwise complete. Cosmo Canyon's complete, Gengag is complete, didn't do jack shit in the Meridian Ocean. Uh, Junon, complete. And uh, the Grasslands at the beginning of the game is complete, so it's like I've done uh, most of the side stuff, but I wasn't like grinding for battles or anything like that, so. Uh, and most of the money typically went into, I think just like getting stocking up on potions and maybe getting uh, every once in a while like some armor or something <laughs> yeah i mean you know i ain't complaining but uh, uh scoob's making a lot of money he's been talking about all this investing and stuff i'm sure he's <laughs> he's he's packing away the bills um let me take a look at the item transmitter and make sure that we're good to go and everything let me get a couple of these i think i could only make one never mind uh, X potions in. I'll do a couple high ethers. Um, how many of these can I make? Ooh, not too bad. I could get ten total. It's pretty good. Stream when it goes in your PayPal, you never even look at it. You'll never even know if it's <laughs> it's gone. Oh, I see. I used to take a look at that every once in a while. I think the one time I ever heard you say you invested in the stream was uh, when you got yourself a new mic. That was a couple of years ago or something, right? I had to get myself a new microphone. Uh, I had an Electro Voice RE20, which I absolutely loved, but I think the thing was from the 70s. And the uh, diaphragm ended up getting loose, and there was like a constant popping that I kept hearing. It was like, it was like, a, like a tick. Just like a rhythmic tick that would always happen during streams sometimes and it got worse as time went on and that diaphragm was super super loose uh i took a look at trying to repair it and the repair video i saw from like a professional it looked like trying to dismantle like an atomic warhead so i was like you know what i think i'm just gonna buy a new mic 
So I ended up getting a, a RE320, which apparently isn't as good because it's made with some quote unquote Asian parts, which I think just means it's some of it's manufactured in China as opposed to the Electro Voice RE20, which is 100% US made. But hey, the RE20 that I got from the 70s crapped out on me however long you know it was actually around for so they ain't built to last forever you buy about 3k worth of games a year but no technical upgrades <laughs> well you did get that mic one time <laughs> yeah scoop definitely the sugar daddy and it is appreciated I don't know if there's anything else here I necessarily need to make there's a couple like accessories and stuff that we could potentially do oh never mind Not even accessories, I meant like armor. Of course, all the armor is like bangles and stuff like that, so I guess it kind of is accessories. Uh, just in case there was any upgrades to HP or MP, I'll go ahead and rest. Uh, if I can choose a party, I would very much like to have Yuffie in, because... Okay, I can't. Alright, shit. Well... I guess that's a no-go. Uh, Yuffie's like the best character in the game, though. And that's not even personal bias. It's just she plain outright has the best abilities. She's not a super heavy hitter, but she's incredibly adaptable. So I uh, typically tend to use her. Third party member doesn't matter too much. If I wanted to go for like a powerhouse or something, I'd probably go for Tifa. Uh, if we were doing something ranged or had some flight, I'd probably go for Barrett. Uh, Red 13, unfortunately, is going to fall short a little bit, but, uh... And then Kate Sith, I try not to have in the party as much as possible. Oh, planet and its faithful stewards, please, lend me your strength. I know I'm losing I actually get to hear the prayers. You never taught me how to pray, and as the last living Setra, I may never learn. Oh, my goodness. Physical? Or is that all digital? That must be all digital stuff. Your PS library is up to a girthy 1,127 games. I think on Steam, I have close to 700 games. Of course, not all of them I paid for, but um, actually, pro well, most of them are like probably bundles, but still, I've, that's probably where I've got the most digital games. Also, your ideal party is Cloud, Yuffie, and Aerith, and Zara likes Tifa, Barrett with Cloud. Yeah, it's going to be the part. That's digital. Your physical collection is about 4,000 games. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't know how many I have. Um, physically, I keep track. You ever hear... I don't know if this even matters to you all that much, Scoob, but you ever hear Game Eye? I got uh, Daler into this, but it's an app where you keep track of uh, your physical collection by plugging them in or scanning barcodes, and it also um, updates live based on the market on how much the games are going for and worth, and it kind of averages out you know, the value of your collection and stuff. Uh, but my physical collection is looking like we're kind of like just under um, 1,100. So I got a grip, but it ain't no 4,000. <laughs> it's about a quarter of that. So you got me beat there. That's a lot, though. My goodness. You do have every game from your video game store still. Oh, okay. So that's where it came from. Whatever, Honto. You don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have 700 games. I've seen his library. just Final Fantasy and Tomb Raider games. That's because that's the only thing you've seen me stream. Yeah, sometimes I forget about that about you, but you mentioned it you mentioned it sparingly, but you have mentioned it before, but you did go own a game store, so you ended up walking away with probably a good grip of that inventory as opposed to selling most of it off. Of course I, if I was in the same situation, I'd do the same thing. I've seen like videos and stuff of uh, you know, contemporary people that have owned video game stores and it's similar situations they just have a collection big enough where they could start selling and you know they just keep adding to it and play in the market and you end up getting a lot of stuff and 
Sometimes you gotta call it quits, and when you call it quits, you still have a lot of inventory. You can either choose to sell off, you know, a lot of it, or end up hanging on to it. You should put that on YouTube or something. Scooby did a collection stream. I bet you a lot of people would be interested in that. Like, I'm mean, even still 30 Rubbermaid tubs. I've seen worse videos of people's collections or similar where it's like in a dank basement and it's still just as interesting. Oh, I, I don't Well, that's too bad, but <laughs> maybe in the future. I, I do think people would be interested in that, though. Alright, this is how it happened in the original. did something for now had to come from somewhere. Oh. We didn't we didn't purchase the save Aerith DLC. Oh, unfortunately not. It must have escaped me. I bet you that was the pre-order deluxe bonus. Cloud, it's okay. Oh, maybe we did get it. See, she's all right. Also, real quick, your uh, best piece is a uh, never open Saturn. Well, that's still pretty rare, though. Consoles are a big. Uh, um, can be a big centerpiece for uh, any collection. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, Scoob. Thank you for dropping in here, dropping all those gift subs, and chatting with me. Of worlds. Always fun having you around, even if, uh, you know, I don't expect you to be gifting me stuff all the time. <laughs> but always good chatting with you. So, don't be a stranger. You have a good one.
I got this. However, you'll never see the truth with such clouded eyes. Shut up! So they call him Cloud. Just a puppet. All right, here we go. Little J E N O V A. Oh, I think she's coming back. She ain't gonna need a pillow. Oh, right into it. That's pretty much how it happens. Um, so. I know that music. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll get into it because I want to see what happens after this. But yeah, uh, after, in the original, after uh, Sephiroth impales Aerith, um, you immediately go into a Genova battle. But it, it, instead of playing the Genova theme music, it goes. Uh, it plays Aerith's theme. I guess much like it's doing now. But it wasn't for a second. But it was a pretty big moment back in the day. It's, uh, you know, not as much of a secret these days, but. <laughs> I think, I feel like the party members probably shouldn't have their normal banter. Bang, bang! I don't know what Genova's gonna end up doing. Maybe I should cast Shell. I feel like it's gonna have a lot of like magic oriented attacks. Probably, I mean, there's not too many that were, you know, as high profile. Um, I think being a pioneer in kind of like the 3D era of video games probably helped it too, because it was just like right at that spot where you know, games were becoming a lot bigger and uh, more higher profile than they were, you know, in the Super NES days or anything like that. And then the uh, cinematics at the same time helped a lot with that as well. Definitely one of the most memorable things I was going to say when uh, we see like the whole impaling thing and the white materia falling from Aerith um, in the original that cutscene, I would probably consider, and I don't know, maybe there's some bias, but I would probably consider that one of like the most uh, famous video game cutscenes of all time. I don't know what this barrier is, I guess. Hang back. Come on. See what we can do with it. Can't seem to lock on to anything else though. Aqualung. Let's see, does she have she's gonna have chakra, right? Oh no, does she not have it? Son of a bitch. Nobody's got, um... It's one of these mist kicker potions, I guess. Nobody's got, uh... Assess, either. I don't have the asses materia on. Okay. See ya, Barret. I'll try it next time. I thought I was doing damage to the barrier with just physical attacks, because it seemed to be taking damage of some sort, but... Hang back. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe switching the magic will be a better idea if it pops up again. Come on. 
Just never came back, did he? Kind of expecting him to, but whatever. There we go. Now's our chance going in. Nothing personal. Nothing personnel, kid. Like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to take part in this. You've done it before. You can do it again. Okay. And now Tifa's gone. See ya, Tifa. Since we're all out of MP and I'm pretty far down on health, I'll just use one of my elixirs. Let's try a fireball blade, see if that does anything. Oh, it's immune to that. Yeah, I think it's magic attacks, because my long range blade beams seem to uh, be affecting it. Oh boy, what do you got? Let's see. Eh. There we go. Thank you, Akiri. I appreciate the lurk. And they're back. Everybody's back. This thing's going down. Of course. Of course. Well, 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 look who decided to show up, everybody. Uh, be doesn't sound like a reprisal of the one that was on the uh, ship which is good because I didn't really like that version of the Genova theme Oof. 
the hell is that? It's still lacking the bridge, which I it was one of the major things I didn't like about the uh, previous Genova theme that they did. I don't know why what they got against the goddamn bridge. I just can't have it, I guess. Okay. the saws are, but no thank you. Okay, see you, Cloud. when it does like that uh, those descending keys it almost sounds like it's part of the uh, battle of the big bridge music I'll save that to touch those uh, laser beams. I'm sure it's not good for your health. Oh, okay, worst party. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good on this one. God, I don't even know what Kate Sith has. of materia and shit. I really have not been paying much attention to him. I'll try to use that limit break, though. Yeah, it's kind of doing like, um... Genova Absolute, I think. From, um... The, well, basically the end of the original Final Fantasy. There's the bridge. Thank you. Been missing it. Kind of a different battle. Can I use the? Oh no, turbulent spirit. I can't. bridge in the song not like a physical bridge but there's a you know if you, if you like pay attention to music theory or music structure it's not even a theory watch let me see if i can show you what i mean because they they do all that part in the song in the song where it's like the core i guess you'd call it the chorus even though there isn't like a verbal or anything going on but it's like um a bridge in a song is like a part where it kind of it's supposed to like retain your interest by mixing up the monotony of like the tempo and the uh, the chorus of the song, so it's like a slightly different version of it. I just linked it in somebody else's 
Here we go. So the bridge and the Genova theme would be this. So that's the bridge, and for whatever reason, with the Genova themes that they've been doing uh, in the game so far, they keep either rearranging it to make it sound completely different, or they just nix it from the song entirely, which I've not been amused by. <laughs> but here it is. It's a very good piece of music. Uematsu definitely was in his prime, I feel like, in the late 90s when he was making music. Don't overdo it. I'm your one stop club. You got it, Nick. Hasn't been boring. Come on. Yuffie, you are my favorite party member. You are welcome anytime. I'm gonna save clouds for something. Let me see if we can get a read on this thing. Lesser resistances to ice and wind. No kidding. Oof. We have Blizzaga, we don't. Blizzara well, should be good enough. And that attack is nuts. Ooh! Goddamn. Yeah, we needed reprieve for that. I might have to use that limit break. stopped now too <laughs> oh my god yeah that didn't work out those last attacks there jesus christ oh no 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 before current battle yeah we were close why did it oh damn it i don't need to, i don't think i need to do all right whatever it's doing the party split so that's fine most of this, I think, is handleable. I think I'm gonna have to end up using that lemon break, though, because my goodness. For whatever reason, it wasn't doing like these heavy hitting attacks um, with the other party members. I think it was like merciful, just because it probably knows that some of these guys are not gonna be your uh, <laughs> your A game. But as soon as you get Cloud at the party. Like, nope. Alright. Hopefully, we get lucky with this one. Let's see what's in the mod box. <laughs> Thirteen get a limit break. Oh, there it just like gives it to him. Okay. 
I think I just give them to you. Ready? Uh, uh, uh. I do that. I don't even know if I have Stardust Ray hotkey to anything, so. form using the limit break. I was just worried that if we had to fight it over again, I didn't want to end up using the best one I got, which would be Cloud's Ascension. He's got a, an accessory on him right now that boosts him up to level 2. Which, if I could do a synergy with somebody, I could get up to level 3 pretty quick, too. Oh, wait, no, I don't have level 3. Never mind. Well, still, level 2 is nice enough. Everybody's awfully jolly. Oh, it ain't over yet, but thank you. Well, at least we got past the part that I died on before. You gave me Kate Sith? You bastards. At least I got Yuffie, but ugh. Alright, is it still weak to... Oh. I guess we didn't scan it this time around. Let's see. Okay, it's still weak to ice and stuff, so... That's good. What do you even have? I don't think he's... Okay, he's got no spells. Maybe he's silenced? No? Okay. Well, whatever. You got any good items for him? I'll just keep that in use. Oh, sorry, Yuffie. I have failed you. Oh, you son of a bitch. I use Cloud's most powerful ability. Bastard teleports away. Your turn.
What's he got? Uh, he's a little bit low on MP. I'm pressured, but I'm not doing enough uh, actual stagger damage to justify keeping this up. <laughs> Getting Cloud in there. Ah, oh, he's so close to dying. I'm just going to use his bloodbath. So it was a good idea keeping the limit break for that one, but didn't need to do it during that uh, mixed party segment. What now? Oh, good. HP and MP fully restored. I wonder if they change up the party members at random at that last little bit there, because uh, Yuffie and Kate Sith seemed like an oddly random pairing. Oh, and what Ultra sucked about that was I didn't go into the menu to see when Kate Sith rejoined, which was pretty late. I didn't go in to, like, change his um, hey, equipment. Anybody there? Thank you. Too. Zach and Cloud. So together at last. Been pretty busy. In a Disney Channel original. It's like Yuffie, but not Kate Sith. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much feel you there, but I mean, at, at the very least, he could be a little bit better with the materia. But I didn't even bother looking at his equipment. How do both of you have the same sword? Sephiroth. Before the whole point of rebirth was to connect it to Kingdom Hearts. Some of it definitely feels Kingdom Hearts-ish. Look, Zack's got his own uh, stance. One-handed the Buster Sword, huh? All right, this is similar to Remake, where it ended with a duel with Sephiroth, which is odd. I don't know if we actually get to fight it, though. Oh yeah, maybe we do. Cloud, you ready for this? Uh... No. <laughs> we get a tutorial this late in the game. Press square to slash with the Buster Sword. Hold the button to launch enemies in the air and bring them crashing down. Charge up the power. Uh, charge up power with triangle to enhance the chain slash and Meteor Shot's abilities up to level 3. Press triangle after attacking to perform a more effective quick charge. Yeah, all right. Follow my lead. Look at you taking charge. I like it. <laughs> okay, cool. Everything we stand for. Right. Long as you get what you want, who cares who gets hurt? Is that it? You really got it coming. 
What abilities do you have? Meteor shots, high braver, chain slash. Does he have a... No, he doesn't have a Punisher mode. I guess he just has the charge. Oh, I wasn't expecting that move. Rage. My weak little puppet. It's almost endearing. I'll kill you! <laughs> Is that hatred? forgiveness. <laughs> You just block that shit? Alright. Keep it together. Will you endure? Let's do this. Get ready. I don't think he's gonna endure it. <laughs> just sack. This is not good. No, no, it really isn't. My turn. Almost. There we go. Great minds. Let's finish this. Finish it. Let's see. Soldier's honor. Hug him up. I think it's got like half magic. Oh no, that was the effect of the. I thought that was just something <laughs> that Zach had all on his own. Some. That was the effect of the synergy ability. Here we go. Come on. Let's do this. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. All right, see you, Zach. Oh, it's too late for that, bud. Alone at last. Shall we? <sighs> I guess. We must. The hell is that? Oh, no. Safer Sephiroth. Uh, you're not supposed to get this form until later, sir. I respectfully decline. Don't care how big you get. I'm not backing down. I'm finishing this. Try this. Yes. I don't really know what's going on here. The endings of these games always seem to differ quite a bit uh, from the originals, of course. You know, you have to do some stuff different. You can't always stick to things faithfully, uh, I suppose. But um, uh, the same thing with the ending of Remake. It seemed to go a little over the top. 
And I guess I can understand if this is like a, you know, for lack of a better term, a dream sequence or something, but it's, uh, it's, it's a little much. Yeah, yeah, it's indeed safer Sephiroth, or Saffir Sephiroth. I believe the original translation was supposed to be, um, Seraph, uh, but somehow it just went to Safer, <laughs> or, uh, Sephir, Sephir Sephiroth. Also, Cloud just walks out like, nope, <laughs> someone else's problem. Eh, he jumped up on him, no biggie. Kind of reminded me of, like, a Bayonetta sequence, almost. But yeah, this is uh, this is a final one of the final bosses, um, right before Sephiroth takes on his god form. So it's a little, it's a little much for like you know part two of part three or of three parts, presumably. It's the fate of the world and everything. Sometimes he ain't got much of a choice. Let's try that again. Block the first one. <laughs> yeah, gonna need a new space program for that, and unfortunately Shinra hasn't provided it as much materials as they probably should. Cloud. And again with these whispers. Ah. Any sign? Everybody's back. Maybe the whispers got him. You think they took him somewhere? The only reasonable explanation I could think of doing all this stuff is they seem to have sort of redefined uh, Genova's abilities to not only take various forms, but also manipulate what people can, like, see. So, you can kind of enter this sort of, like, made-up dream state where a bunch of wacky shit happens. And I think we could consider that a nice close-up of uh, an effect of... Uh, Genova's cells. Uh, again with the Kate Sith. Can you give me a moment to like put something on him? Mm. 
Well, maybe. We'll see. I don't want to confirm or deny what may or may not be happening with Aerith, but you never know. There's also a lot that muddies the water with the whole alternate universe bit, so there could be something going on with that as well. What is it? Oh, it's still Bahamut. I'm like, what are we even dealing with here? I guess wouldn't have a summon, would he? What about Barrett, though? What's Barrett got? He's got Alexander, which would be a better one. I think in this particular instance, people actually don't like the multiverse in the case of Final Fantasy uh, 7, but I get what you're saying. Just in general, like the multiverse concept. Uh, is fun in a lot of different things, but I feel like the general reception for this go around is like, eh, let's maybe just stick with the original game. for Sephiroth, I guess. Okay, maybe maybe not the wing part. Get it together, Red. Could have Kate fighting all your battles for you. Ah, screw it. I'll just see if I can get Alexander to do something with the wing. Welcome back, Zack. Oh good, landing right in the flower bed. Good way to break your fall. Aerith? Do we fight Aerith now? Oh. What in the hell is going on? That's what I'm saying. I don't remember Crisis Core all that much. And I know there was a remake that came out relatively recently. I did not play it. There's all the sound sound muted. Well, I assume uh, Crisis Core is a fine game as a, you know, portable game. I played the PSP one back in the day. I still own it. But the, the remake, I was just kind of like, eh, I could, but I just, like, wasn't in the mood for it, so. But I assume it, it has the same, like, story and everything, which was all right. 
I think I think like the gameplay mechanic surprisingly was like the funnest aspect of Crisis Core. But it also had some neat things because it was still at a time where like there wasn't a ton of, um, you know, additional Final Fantasy VII content. We were just starting to kind of get into the uh, whole expanded universe of Final Fantasy VII. Nice move. Have reunion for the Switch. Still have to play it, even though you have the PSP version. Have you ever played? Oh no, no, you haven't played. Uh, I think we were talking about that before. You still, um, still working on getting through the whole Final Fantasy VII saga. Not going down that easy. Got me good. Synergy abilities. I'll save that for when I get it. Stagger gauge is building up a little bit, but there we go. He doesn't have a limit break yet, though. You ready? Cloud on it. Warm ups over. Oh yeah! Brace yourself. Could be the end of me. I'll use one of these X potions. Time to make you pay. Sorry. And we're back to this. You feel that? Hmm. Good to know all that work I put in has just been uh, completely taken away from me. Then we keep fighting. Hey, that head here's looking pretty banged up. Call me crazy, but it feels like the wings are protecting it. We've got to take out the barrier. It's those stupid wings. It's on you. You won't have that there. Little. All right, your feet. Show us some asses. Right. Apparently, doesn't have any elemental damage or anything. Doing this, eh? I'm trying to do some damage to the wings, but I don't know if the barrier is protecting the wings or. If we need to de defeat the barrier to uh, just get the core, or if there's something else involved here. Uh, interesting take on the Sephiroth theme. Can't even hit it, so.
here. Let's see. If I do... Okay, so the wing took damage at some point. Yeah, the wings keep changing colors because they keep inflicting different elemental statuses. We kind of see it every once in a while, but they'll shoot off like a little bit of magic. <laughs> Good job. We didn't do anything there. Eh, Yuffie's hurting. Well, uh, so when it's fire, ice, opposite element, it's like a hell house kind of. Uh, possibly, but it changes so fast it wouldn't even really make much of a difference, I think. What I end up using. I mean, I could try something here. Actually, let me do haste on the party. Yeah, I know about the wings. It's weird that it like fluctuates though, because it looks like I'm doing damage sometimes, and then other times it's immune to damage. But I'm definitely doing some kind of damage. I just don't know what the good damage is because apparently like it, it doesn't have any sort of greater resistances or um any weaknesses shit that chose the wrong thing if he seems to be the only one capable of actually damaging these things though so I think the Titus laugh got like absorbed into the uh, <laughs> into the game here. Let me see. Not quite. She keeps getting poisoned too, which sucks. Definitely had to, we, we're doing a little bit of damage to the core, but you definitely have to hit the wings, but there's like different aspects of it where it seems to take damage and then not. There's this heartless angel shit. Come on. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Everybody just got like docked down to one HP. Yuffie to save the day, I guess. I'm curious about using uh, her limit break here, but... Son of a bitch! Oh, it was like right when I used the thing to the potion. I think it ate that potion. Alright, but we could hit it finally. If I die, I better be restarting at the start of a segment. <laughs> I ain't doing this shit again. I remember cutting it close on the remakes last battles too. It was like a bunch of different segments where you had to fight like a lot of summons or something. And then you had to fight like five versions of Sephiroth. It was insane. I don't like this aspect of it. <laughs> Maybe like two or three forms, but no more than that, please. Finally. I must admit, I underestimated you. Yeah, well, happens a lot, doesn't it? Earth and cloud together. Let's end this. And then there's like five other battles that happen after this. Oh. Let me get my water. In the meantime. It's time to end this one and for all. What you did back there, Paul. Thank you. Take me later. This ain't over. Right. Okay, let's get finish ready. this. Ah, shit. All right. <laughs> These proud Americans here. that spells out of the question. <laughs> Sephiroth just started casting some sort of shadow beam.
Fend off that tornado cloud. You've got this. Hang back. Oh yeah, One Winged Angel's great. And again, Final Fantasy VII is filled with a lot of good music. And it's like, Uematsu was doing a lot prior to this that was really great in terms of his soundtracks, but I think Final Fantasy VII was the first time where it just like, really sort of knocked it out of the park. My last X potion. Oh wait, no, I use it on Earth. Ha! You can do it. All right, well, let's still have elixirs. Get back in your ward. Oh shit, she's only got healing wind. Alright. Didn't get any like special nah. Special synergy abilities. I think back when I was first playing these games, I pretty much had the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack with me at all times. This is back when I used to have a CD player on hand and um, I had ripped the... A friend had the, uh, collection. The full OST, which was like four discs, and... We ripped the music, and he let me burn it onto a few discs. Shitload of damage. It's your turn. Need to heal up. Ain't dead yet. I'm coming. Come on. Stamp remix. Stamp remix for what? like wards on top of wards so that AP, A, ATB ward I didn't even notice I had. As a matter of fact, I think it is personal, Cloud. I really do. <laughs> One more shot. Eric. Defy me. Here he comes. <laughs> Oh, she 
Wait, where am I? Wait a sec. Oh, the wards are gone. I'm getting chased by uh, whispers. Cloud heal us. Don't overdo it. Here goes. No more games. You've got this. I got this. It's a little extreme, set for out to use an octa slash on old poor old Aerith there. Oh shit. We both got kind of caught up in that, didn't we? Oh, we got Rising Fury. I think we need this um, healing wind, though. my warp. Oh, you son of a bitch. Doing this shit. I hate that shit. And it, does, it happens multiple times in this game. Pisses me off to no end. But there is like abilities that the enemies do where it's just like, ah, everybody's just at one HP now. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. Sever your ass. Can't hold me back. Shall I sever your fate? That's a lot of shit, is what it is, because it could definitely end, you know, a, a boss battle immediately, depending on it, how much you end up getting a hit. Oh, he's doing two beams. One beam for each hand. already got another um, limit break cool I don't know <laughs> oh boy I think even in uh, remake I didn't um, end up dying at that part 
or not not a, you know this part but it feel they feel so similar but the final battle with Sephiroth oh yeah it's cheap I had full HP pretty much too or it, close to it. it we had close to full bars for everybody you gotta be kidding me no way I can skip this right yeah there's a bit of cutscene that happens before this anyway, so it's going to be a second. But yeah, it's like he had just a smidge of HP left and there you are. that last final move. And I, I want to say that everybody had close to HP, high HP or full because I used um, the healing wind. So that Octus Lash that he did just absolutely wiped it. I don't know if there's, I mean, I guess there's a way you could avoid it, but it sure didn't give me a whole lot of opportunity. Before um, he, he did Octoslash, uh, on previous segments, he uh, usually prompts it with like getting into a stance first. So it's like you get a second to like prepare yourself, maybe move away from it so that only one party member takes the brunt of it. And then the other one can kind of stay away. But not that time. And I doubt it's going to be a move that you could block, even with a well-timed block. I highly doubt that it's going to be a situation where you could just, like, uh... Parry it. Yeah, got stun locks. Not fun. Again, this game loves to pull bullshit like that. I'm gonna see if I can just focus on like staggering. Not, I mean, you know, maybe as far as the game goes as a whole, but that that aspect of it with some of the cheapness of the bosses, I absolutely hate. No, no reason for it, really. Yeah, get it, Cloud. got both these abilities or well I guess let's do healing wind for right now that way she can actually no wait, it's the uh, synergy that bases on the level two limit breaks not using a singular limit break oh anyway I'll do it whatever We got a summon this time. That's interesting. I'm coming. Get him. Cut. 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 
Heck yeah, I'll summon Odin. Duty calls. Duty be calling. limit break this time around. We staggered him pretty quick this time. So, I'll use a summon ability. Shit. Yeah, I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. Hopefully it's 9,999. 9, uh, 92.85. That ain't bad. Oh yeah, here we go again with the bullshit. Last time we got screwed over at this part. Wait, wait a second. Hold on. Okay. I don't even I don't I have no clue what I'm supposed to do there in that case. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh granted we took care of him a lot quicker than we did the first time around. I was let's just hit it up real quick. Um But what are, what am I supposed to do? 
What, like what? What can you do during that part? I don't understand. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean? I just get locked? Like uh, when the when the names of the characters on you know right above their ATB gauges when they turn red, that means you're immobile. You can't move. So as soon as I get him down, you know, to it, it didn't even look like he had a sliver of health left when I when I got him down to that part. I was already locked. I couldn't move at all. So like. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what will you explain? I'm looking this bullshit up because I'm wondering what if there's something. Let's end this together. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I did all out attacks. It was I did everything. I underestimated you. Um Let's see. It's absolutely ridiculous. So the first guy I pulled up was just IGNs, but it's like they talk about the Tempus Finus uh, attack, which is the one where he uses the double hand like beams. And it just says, keep out of the way of the streams, and uh, you can still use attacks to deal damage with Sephiroth being able to react or counter until the animation of Tempest Finest ends. And then, that's it. <laughs> it doesn't say anything else after that, and it just tells you how much experience and AP you get. Uh, but, like, I don't understand that whole move there. Unless I just am getting unlucky twice. I guess that could be it. But... Yeah, I, the uh, <laughs> you're right about that, Walrus. The like, it almost looks like because when I first saw it that first time when I died, it was like he, he gives the condescending smug uh, look at you, and I, I thought, oh, I'm supposed to die there, and then like you know the rest of the party will come in and I'm like, hey, you can't do this alone, Cloud, and uh, you know everybody joins in on the battle or some shit. But no, it's just a game giving you a gigantic middle finger, so that's cool. I saw what you did back there, Bob. Thank you. Thank me later. This ain't over. Right. Okay, let's finish this. Uh, shall I send it? Get him! I don't know. I took a quick look at another guide and it pretty much said the same thing, but they probably got their information from IGN, so who knows? We're just gonna try it again. Third time's a charm, right? <laughs> Yeah, you're fine, Earth. What do you make of this? Is any of a dream? Or is it all just a fever dream? Don't even bother. That shit won't work on me. Nothing more. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Hopefully not. Anything else I could do? Oh, the uh, storm is a pretty good attack. Sephiroth powers have diminished. Hang back. 
You ready? As I'll ever be. Aaron. <laughs> Shall I sever your you with that? I can do. You will be quiet. No. I will go out screaming. Odin, time for your bullshit. Come on. Getting hit all over the place. Except for I was getting ready for something, but then Odin says, ah. Uh -uh. rather mega Oh, thank God she's immune to attacks when she's doing that limit break. I was like, that's the first time I didn't have any ATB built up. Stay him far back away from this one. Don't give up now, you guys. Yeah, you ready. Yeah. 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 
Let's see about casting a barrier. Oh. So it's my turn. This one's for you. I got gotcha. Hey back. Let's end this cloud. All right. All right. This is where the bullshit usually happens. Take them down. His health looks like it um, stops there. Like you can't do anything more with him at that point. Your end is not. might have made a mistake there because I thought that was his final attack that he usually does and it seems like the synergy attacks don't seem to like they, they block out um, they block out any damage And then, son of a bitch, once again. <laughs> you asshole. That's three times. I need to know what I need to do after, after that point, because apparently there's something that needs to happen. Again, I was wondering if maybe... Like it, it triggers immediately as soon as he gets his health all the way down. Uh, I'm not gonna bother talking over this because we got a little. There's like a cutscene that has to play before this part anyway, so we'll just keep going with it. But um, I need to know like what specifically happens. You gotta be kidding me! He still ain't dead. Yeah, well, I'm wondering if revival earrings. The thing is, is that um, they uh, they both have an ability that's supposed to give them one HP as soon as they lose all their health. So it's like I wonder if revival earrings would even work at that point. But it's like I can't like equip anything. Um, there's nothing I can actually do to get back into the menu. So I noticed that there's a pressure gauge that starts up when he starts doing that. Uh, double beam attack, but I don't Let's know if I can even reach it at that together. point. And it's like prior to that, I end up using my limit break to basically get him down to that amount of health. I must admit, I underestimated you. Battle starting. Hold on. Let me take a look. Brother, I'm being as aggressive as I can without actually, you know, saving limit breaks up into that point. I don't know if maybe we need to break his uh, stagger gauge like right at that point or what. Right. 
I gotta get Aerith's stuff up here. Let's see, I got a Radiant Ward. Hang back. Don't overdo it. That's it. What do you make of this? Is any of it real? Or is it all just Don't even bother. That shit won't work on me. Not anymore. <laughs> Even right before that section, I tried uh, buffing us up a little bit prior to him doing his final attacks. I didn't seem to do too much either. Seems to work. Alright. Hang back. Try this. You ready? As I'll ever be. Eric. Don't give up now, you guys. Keep it up. Get him. Shall I sever your feet? Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm also, I mean, I, I feel like I need something to uh, potentially build up his stagger gauge, too, which there isn't a whole lot in terms of actual abilities. Uh, what's it called? Focus Thrust is usually, like, the best one to try and build it up. You don't get a whole lot of opportunities to end up using it, however, just because the beam will uh, take a lot of damage out of you. The second time he's tried to activate an ability and then Odin gets his run in. I don't know if it's going to interrupt him though. Hopefully. Good job. You ready? As I'll ever be. You usually get two ascensions, so I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this one so we can kind of get through pretty quick. Mega potion. Go on. That's it. This'll 
Oh shit, that was the wrong one. I wonder if Lustrous Shield would actually work. It's a bullshit move that brings us all down to one HP. save that limit break. Um, he's getting pretty close to that point where he usually... Oh, and then Aerith's dead. <laughs> How'd you die? He's getting close to that point where he stops taking damage, so I'm gonna wait on this. Try it, I guess. His pressure gauge isn't building up. Okay, there it did. Well, that sucked. <laughs> he just flies away. Like a bitch. <laughs> Why is he Fucking laughing? Thing sucks. Because he knows this isn't over. Thing sucks. <laughs> yeah. My sentiments exactly. Thank you. I still smug about it. He knows he's got it in the bag. Ready? Oh. Ugh, the boss battle was rough. I feel like my stomach is cramping up because of it. Only boss battle I've played in the last few years has given me IBS.
I'm not really too sure how I got two ascensions, too, unless it was just like a bunch of damage accumulation. But, like, I had used one to see if I could build up the pressure gauge, and it barely did maybe like a third. So and then I was just trying to spam the uh, time to say goodbye. focus thrusts, see if I could get it up higher, because that's usually the best thing when you have cloud to build up the stagger gauge. But I think you need to pressure him. Because he's in a pressure state, so he's going to take stagger damage a little bit more. You just need to get to the stagger damage to 100%. Otherwise, you're screwed. <laughs> There's like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're just going to keep dying because that final octoslash will just like tie you up and you can't move, you can't heal. And you'll just be replaying the damn thing over and over again. Oh yeah, we were having all that fun fighting Sephiroth. We seem to have forgotten that Aerith got stabbed. She actually did wake up. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to. Stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. <sighs> Ow. It's getting a drink of water. I'm leaning my head back and bumped my mic. Stay in here. <laughs> I guess uh, Reeve isn't. Oh, maybe not. I thought just Reeve wasn't there, so <laughs> nobody was controlling Kate. Dally shilly shally and all that. <laughs> Clank 
cloud either went out the deep end or no return or it's an Aerith from a different timeline only he can see. I have to admit. Maybe. We know that cloud, well, from the original game, we know that cloud has a bit of a connection with the life stream as well. Who, me? <laughs> I guess not. Anyway, you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn. I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. A father's dream, accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation's all you deserve. Thought he was someone and then he thought it was someone else and then he turned into something. We were all getting rused by like three layers of irony. <laughs> well, thank you, Hi Gary. I appreciate that. I appreciate you too, man. I try to try to support your you guys over there on your stream when I can. I wish I could do it more, but sometimes you're streaming a little earlier than I can be around for, but always glad to have you here. Always having fun when I pop into your stream, so hope you're doing well. whale weapons not too fond of the whale weapons I want the mech weapons did I no I couldn't have dreamt that it all felt way too real Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> All right, you have a good night, man. I know. But who's to say they can't unite again? I was trying to warn people earlier. <laughs> End of the game here, so definitely major story spoilers if you want to avoid that. Ah, the guys in Nibelheim finally heading up north. <laughs> Going to the crater. Somebody saw me the Final Fantasy theme. I guess it's Sid.
Nice catch. Oh. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? For takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. Man, look at that sweater. It's the most realistic video game sweater I've ever seen. I can still hear her voice. Still got it. One sec. <laughs> oh, I wasn't aware you could just do that. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine. But don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity. Marvel shit happening here. <laughs> it's, it's getting along those lines, although I gotta admit, Marvel probably has it laid out a lot clearer. Okay, getting back. And if I said I wasn't, <laughs> don't worry, it's like a second home. I guess. But what if, what if something happens? <sighs> then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Streets 
with one cobblestone Listening to people rushing past To rhythms all their own Goodbye Life passing me by nothing Goodbye No promises await at Journey's End No promises They might not even finish the game at Journey's End That might be a part 4 Alright, that's it Creative director, Tetsuya Nomura, you crazy bastard. Oh boy. Well, that's the end of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're not completely done playing it, though. I think I'm going to do a chapter select, and we're going to go back and do something there. I might even try to fight uh, Gilgamesh. All right. We'll see you, Mythical, if you're taking off. Have a good one. I'm going to talk about the game a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some of those uh, little extra tidbits. Uh, we'll go through it. I'll, I'll usually, at the, when I beat a game, I'll talk about it, uh, kind of my initial thoughts during the credits and everything. Um, so this one, I mean, compared to Remake, I feel like this one probably did a better job with the material it had. The problem with Remake, and it, I had a lot of fun with it when I played it at the time, it was a very fun set of streams. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed the when I was playing that. Um, and I had fun with it at the time, but like looking back on it, it's like remake had a lot of problems. It was, it had too little material that I was trying to stretch out to be a full length game. Uh, it wasn't quite as long as this one, but you know, still like maybe like a 50 or 60 hour game if you're trying to do everything. <clears throat> and it's only the Midgar portion of the original Final Fantasy. So there was a lot of content in there that was filler in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of extra little tidbits that were thrown in there and they weren't interesting for the most part. There was a couple things here and there that I thought were kind of, you know, like a neat little different take or you get to like have different insights, a uh, little expanded character moments, particularly with like Jesse, Biggs and Wedge. I liked the uh, additional inclusions with them and some of the side stuff that you get to do with them. Uh, stuff like uh, going up to visit the uh jesse's parents while they're trying to get materials from some compound or whatever uh which also led into the like the little fights with rosh all that was kind of cool but yeah there's a lot of filler stuff in there and there was a lot of deviations from the original game um so kind of had problems with that with remake uh the whole whisper situation was a little bit too frequent you know, like where the whispers were trying to contain the timeline or whatever every time there's a change they'd pop up it was very confusing uh so just my thoughts on remake i like i definitely like remade games when they add or change up things from the original when you just like reskin uh and put new graphics on an old game and then plop it out and say here you go here's your remake i find that boring um you know, I think most recently, last year, we did uh, the Dead Space remake, which by and large was heavily unchanged. It just looked a little sharper, and it looks nice. Um, some of the changes they made I didn't like. Uh, but, you know, it was, it was forgettable, basically. So I, I like it when they change stuff up, but I feel like Remake took too many liberties, and it, it stretched too little material out too far. With Rebirth, it did a lot with what was in the original game and it stretched it out a little but you know it wasn't quite as egregious or as uh boring in some cases as remake was i feel like sticking closer to the core game of the original final fantasy 7 ended up working out a lot better for it where they could kind of expand on moments a bit but not stretch it out to the point where it just felt like overly long in most of those segments the pace was pretty brisk in most cases um, I did kind of get a little bored with some of the side missions and stuff, but you know, that's just, that's just a bunch of extra content. There's bound to be like some slack, uh, in those segments that isn't exactly all that fun to do. Just kind of doing stuff for the point of trying to be a completionist and everything. Uh, but I feel like most of the stuff that they did with the core game, uh, was pretty good. Just doing the main story and everything. And I felt like if probably if I had stuck with that, I might, I might not have gotten bored in some of the segments because I definitely think, you know, some of the parts where I was getting bored with this game was playing on my own time and trying to do like the side missions and stuff. But uh, yeah, the, the core story was pretty good. The, most of the stuff, again, you know, was unchanged in this one as opposed to remake, which kind of went off the wall. Uh, 
and most of the changes or additions that they did in Rebirth here, I felt were welcome. I, I didn't, like, find any of it majorly offensive. Uh, I was kind of shocked when the very final moments of the game would just, like, thrust you into the City of the Ancients. That was kind of a surprise. Felt like there was some missing content there, but I guess they'll put, like, Rocket Town and some of that other stuff in uh, Part 3, then. Uh, as opposed to having it kind of be in the in-between and going up to the crater and everything and finding the actual city. Uh, kind of bummed because, you know, the build-up to the City of the Ancients was kind of cool. So I missed that we didn't actually get to do all the travel, like, leading up to that. But eh, it is what it is, I guess. I'm, it's not, like, the worst thing. Um, I think as far as stuff that they didn't do as well as the original, uh, definitely wasn't pleased with pretty much everything in Cosmo Canyon. Um, Cosmo Canyon looked great, but it was a little bit too busy. Uh, just from a visual standpoint, a lot of shit going on there. Uh, but more offensive though, was the fact that, uh, God, they changed up so many things about it instead of just being like, you know, a bunch It's basically like a, a colony of natives that were kind of hanging out. Um, you know, in Cosmo Cannon in the original, they weren't like trying to push a narrative on anything. At least that's not the impression that I got. Whereas with Rebirth here, it's almost like they were, they were running a cult and they were like bringing people in and like, oh, stay for our seminars. And, you know, Tifa, you, why don't you go with the group and enter the re education segment? That felt off to me and weird. And it was very off putting as far as Cosmo Canyon goes. Um, Cosmo Canyon to me was just like a quaint little native uh group of people that were you know they had a connection to the planet but they weren't trying to push something on people um that and then Bugenhagen, you know he's just like the kooky old man that has like mystical powers that no one can understand in the original and you know he kind of spells out what happens with the live stream now of course they spelled it out in remake um in part one so he kind of eliminated his purpose with stuff in rebirth here also, something was missing, and particularly in Cosmo Canyon, or do you just mean, like, in some other segment, in Rebirth or Remake? But, uh, anyway, to, uh, back to Bugenhagen, the, like, he didn't really even get to do most of his spiel, because, you know, we kind of heard it in Part 1 already, and then he was just, like, very kind of, like, aggressive, and he was, like, yelling at Cloud, he's like, why do you expect me to know how to do this? I'm like, I don't know, You're the guy that, like, knows the live stream and everything. <laughs> so, he was just, like, all crotchety and stuff, which seemed weird. And uh, I kept bitching about it, bitching and moaning, but it really did piss me off. I didn't like uh, the stuff that they did with Red 13. Uh, when Red 13, like, comes back to Cosmo Canyon, I want to say, like, he sort of breaks his um, facade, like, a little bit, if you could even call it that. Like, he kind of opens up a little bit more, but, yeah, like, giving him, like, the 12-year-old voice and you know making him like super hyperactive like it, it just kind of bummed me out i'm like that's well, not it's not the red 13 i remember and it's like I, when i played the original final fantasy that wasn't how i envisioned the character you know he's stoic and knowledgeable and then maybe when he like revisits his family in cosmo canyon he kind of opens up a little bit more but yeah, same with you, Walrus. The voice really brought it down for you. The voice I didn't like at all. I hated the, the high pitch kid voice. And I just hated the personality change. I didn't feel like that was necessary. I feel like maybe, okay, he can open up a little bit when he sees his grandfather and, you know, the people that he's familiar with. But, like, after that, let's bring it back around. You know, I feel like his, it, it's like his whole personality up to this point was just a farce, which I felt kind of, I don't know. But definitely put off by that and then like in the combat segments he's like wee yippee woo and he's like all hopping around and shit and I'm like Ugh, well, that's not good <laughs> so I was like actively using him less just because I didn't enjoy that aspect of the character I was really really hoping that he would go back to his you know normal quote unquote voice um, that he was using at every moment prior but that didn't end up happening he only does it as a gag when he's like trying to intimidate somebody or when he's narrating how to do the pirate treasure hunt. So that was a bummer. Um, and then of course other things I didn't really care for were 
just kind of like the quick step up from the Temple of the Ancients over to the City of the Ancients. I felt like there was some missing content there. Again, I hope that they put some of that rocket down and, you know, getting up to the crater and everything into um, uh, part three, but I don't know. I feel like we're going to be like missing out on something too. So something about it. It's probably going to be a little bit of miss, but I guess whatever. Um, and then some of it, even though I said I liked a lot of the additions that were made with this game, I wasn't too fond of some of the length of some of the areas. Definitely the Temple of the Ancients felt like overly long. Um, boy, we spent like five hours on that stream and that was strictly the Temple. <laughs> that was a long segment. I don't think the Temple of the Ancients should have been that long. Uh, but there's probably, I mean, it's been, we've been playing this game for a month and, um, you know, I can't recall everything, but there's probably some other segments uh, even though I liked kind of like the additional stuff with Gungaga, uh, downed reactor, like even that felt a little bit long and I don't know. I feel like maybe the overworld segments, like when you're exploring, like, yeah, beef up those, but maybe when we're trying to move through a story, kind of cut it down a little bit, a little excess fat on some of those, uh, spots, uh, gold saucer looking at it with these cutscenes popping up, like that whole thing underneath the golden saucer was a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fetchiest of the fetch quests doing all that shit but at least some of it was fun i feel like even though some of these segments were a little bit long overly long slightly bloated there was still fun enough cutscenes and dialogue that kind of took the place in there oh and speaking of dying i don't know they, i think the, i think they kind of messed up dying too you know dying was just you know a man angry against the world and this one they made him like some some sort of like psycho <laughs> That was having mental breaks. Uh, don't know what that was about, but it was a little, little odd for my taste. Um, and then the segments with like Zach, this whole thing with, I don't know what the hell's going on. The alternate universes or potentially alternate timelines. Some people have called it. Uh, I feel like they're putting a little bit too much stock in this. Uh, and granted, it was few and far between the segments where you had to go back to finding out what Zach's up to, but at the same time, it's like, it, it feels like they're building up for like, whoa, this huge thing. There's like this big merging of universes, and I feel like part three is going to be laden with a bunch of extra bullshit, uh, similar to how Remake was. And honestly, I'd just prefer it if it was, you know, kind of trimmed down and played it closer to the video game, uh, the original video game like uh like this one did for the most part but um you know i didn't mind like the zach segments because again they were short but i just worry that they're gonna be trying to do too much with it when it comes to part three and we're just gonna really go off the rails so it's it's more of a apprehensiveness of the future more than anything but i don't know i guess could be worse i suppose um and then there was some other stuff too, like that whole thing with the uh, what's his face? I don't even remember Bob. What was his name? Gus, <laughs> the guy in the the robe that had some sort of connection to Wu Tai, and he kept. I mean, uh, Rufus shot him at the end there, and it was like, whoa, it's not actually that guy. It's actually one of the regular robe guys. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. I want to say he might have been a character in Crisis Core or something, but uh, I have no clue. This whole Final Fantasy Extended Universe I'm not 100% familiar with, and uh, I don't know that I want to get familiar with it, but like when you have a bunch of these weird story segments lining up, I don't know who that guy was. I don't really know what his purpose is either. Seems to be connected to the robed guys, but is he like serving under Sephiroth? What does he care? And it's like, I, th that shit I don't care about. We got a full game that we're trying to remake here. I don't, we don't need like this extra stuff that doesn't really even seem all that interesting. Like mixing you know, a 10th party into the deal when you already have so many other aspects to worry about. So I don't know. That's one of those. Again, it wasn't intrusive, much like the Zach stuff that wasn't intrusive in the game, but for the most part, but it, I just worry about them trying to bring this to a head when we get to part three and it not, uh, you know, registering well or being well laid out or just like being boring or a slog or, just me not being engaged enough to actually give a damn about what's happening. But other than that, at least as far as everything that I can think of, I still enjoyed the game quite a bit. Um, 
I don't know what they're going to do when we get with part three. It's like, what do we got left? We got the voyage up to the northern crater. We got Wutai. We got the weapons. Oh, I didn't like the weapons either. Why are they whales? <laughs> where, where are my giant robots? I want those. Hopefully they'll rectify that and we'll be able to fight those. Uh, I noticed there was posters every now and again um, that showed the um, weapons, but they were just kind of like mock-ups. Uh, did the combat hold up? Hopefully they don't really lean on deep ground. Is that the is that the weird guy in the robe? The combat was great. Uh, I was talking about it yesterday, uh, but there was like a, it was like when we were fighting Elena and Sung. I'm like that was like the funnest boss battle <laughs> I've ever played. Uh, the combat could be really great, and I love that the characters each have their own kind of different play style. The moves are unique enough where you have to kind of mix up how you perform with each one. And granted, Cloud is like the you know the median he's just like the guy in between and he could do pretty much everything but when you start switching over to different characters um it could be a lot of fun just trying to plan out your maneuvers and trying to build up your gauges and stuff again this uh what i said yesterday it's like it feels like a good blend between classic jrpg turn-based combat and sort of like a modern action-oriented combat and granted I think I made a complaint about it when I first was, when I was getting back into these games and playing the Yuffie DLC from the last one. I don't know if they tightened up the combat a little bit more, but I kind of felt like some of it was off hands in Remake. And maybe it was, I need to go back and check it out again, but this, the combat felt a lot tighter with this one. I felt like it was a lot more responsive. Like when I, you know, press something, it feels like I'm actually making some progress with it. Deep Ground is from the DL... Oh, okay. The UV DLC and Dirge of Cerberus. See, I only played Dirge of Cerberus once. I spent full price on that game, too. I paid 50, 50 big ones. Saved up my allowance and purchased that game. I only played it one time. <laughs> uh, one of these days, I'm going to have to go back and try it out again. Uh, just for old time's sake. Um, so, but it, I don't remember it being that great a game. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's good. Playing it the one time. There were some neat aspects to it. Because it was, it was fun at the time to play like a sequel, basically, to Final Fantasy VII. You get to see some of the underused characters from the original game in a different light. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, don't remember, I don't remember jack shit about Deep Ground. I played the Yuffie DLC and Urge Cerberus too, so it shows you how much it stuck with me. Well, the combat, again, was, was very, very fun. Um, Yuffie, the old-time goat just the, the greatest character we could hope for. <laughs> she was so good. Uh, just in turn, uh, I guess one of the, th the things I haven't really talked about, like the stuff that I've appreciated with this, but um, Yuffie in particular, I thought her expansion into the Final Fantasy, you know, kind of like original storyline was great. I mean, as a character, she didn't, she, she played well, I feel like off of the existing characters. Like she was a good, uh, all the other characters kind of either felt like a good foil for her or they were a good foil uh, for the reverse. So it's like um, she played well off of the, the existing party. Um, a lot of the cutscenes that she was in were, were fun, but just like as an actual character in the gameplay standpoint, you know, she could do close range, she could do long range, she could change up uh, her uh, magic attacks to have different. Um, attributes so you'd fire wind ice lightning um and then her atp gauge built up super fast so if you had her with like buffs and stuff and then you know you throw your doppelganger uh into the mix it's like she was an absolute powerhouse when it came to just like debilitating enemies or buffing up the party or just like taking stuff out so really fun to use her I feel like some of the other characters I probably would have been a little bit better with had I tried to master them, but um, we were trying to get through this relatively quickly, and it's like most of the common battles, you don't really get a whole lot of opportunities to really push yourself with. Some of those uh, those Chudley uh, VR uh, combat things would be a little uh, more challenging, I think. Probably a good opportunity to try and use some of the other characters or get a little bit more proficient with them, but I don't know how much I'm going to be playing this afterwards i guess i'll check my trophy list and see if there's a reason to continue playing for a long time or what but um 
I'm trying to think of something else if there was anything else. I don't know. I just I feel like this one did a did a good job of replicating the original game and bringing it up to you know a modern, qual standard quality. Uh, so pretty happy with the results overall. Some stuff was a little bit of a slog. Some stuff was a little bit bullshit, like a lot of the bosses towards the end of the game. <laughs> Not even just the ones that we fought, like Sephiroth and shit. That, I mean, although that was the worst of it. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of enemies that were like doing these mega moves that were either bringing everybody down to one HP immediately and you had to like quickly recover or build up your ATB gauge or they just had like these long lasting damaging effects where you couldn't escape it so I don't know maybe there was something I was missing I feel like your IQ drops by like 30 points whenever you're streaming a game because you're just like constantly having to like look around and you gotta check chat and you gotta like worry about if you know everything's going through all right and you're kind of distracted so can be a little little difficult sometimes but I th uh, for the most part I think you're just like constantly just a uh, stream of consciousness talking sometimes you get into a little tongue tied and your brain gets twisted around and you don't remember what you're doing at least for me uh, but yeah I mean outside of some of the bullshittery it was still fun to play through um, I didn't really have a hell of a hard time with a lot of the bosses I felt we were able to get through them God if I ever played this game on hard mode, though, I don't think I'd be able to do it, to be quite honest. I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> um, there's some extra stuff, too, that I'm wondering if it's going to be worth getting into. I'm curious about that Gilgamesh. However, considering that he is, like, optional, I wonder if it's going to, like, beat the absolute piss out of me. Uh, they give you a brief moment to fight him solo with Cloud, and I was getting my ass handed to me. Um, I think I ended up losing all my HP and then, uh, like a cutscene happened. Like, I guess you're expected to lose at that point, but still it happened to me awful quick. So no clue. Uh, interested to see what they do in terms of like anything additional with this. I do wonder if they're going to put like a similar to the Yuffie DLC expansion, if maybe they're going to do something with, uh, Vincent. I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to even see Vincent or Sid in combat. I understand that, uh, you know, they're not gonna, I mean, they, they could have, <laughs> but similar to remake, you know, with red 13, not being a playable character, I would have been fine if they were like sort of in the periphery of combat and did a couple things, but not essentially involved, but, uh, no, they just kind of like stayed out of it entirely. So it was mildly disappointing, but I don't know, maybe they'll do some sort of expansion with either one of them. If they do a Vincent expansion, I guess it could be like a prequel to this. Maybe they'll cook up some third-person shooter mechanics. We could have like a, a remake of Dirge of Cerberus. What, what if the DLC expansion for Vincent was just Dirge of Cerberus? Just a little more polished up. Alright, what do we got? Uh, chapter selection and hard difficulty are now available. Access system chapter selection. Replay any chapter from the beginning of uh, using your current stats, weapons, and materia. You can also adjust your quest completion status. For a real challenge, switch cha uh, chapters difficulty to hard. While playing on the setting, items cannot be used and rest spots only recover HP. Yeah, that was the bullshit, wasn't it? Didn't like that. Uh, play log, gold saucer, companion selection. When choosing chapter 8 or 12 from the chapter selection, you can pick any character. Ah, with a close enough relationship to the Cloud to accompany him to the gold saucer. Combat simulator updates. Now, that's what I'm looking for. Not the combat simulator, but the actual, uh, uh, the gold saucer stuff. Chocobo Ranch does now have changing boosts, which you can use to alter your party member's outfits. Red 13 and Kate Sith's Loveless costumes are available for purchase at the Gold Saucer's GP exchange kiosks. That's interesting. Can everybody just like wear different stuff out on the field now? Or is it still like a regional specific? All right. Well, I'll just save over this one. 87 hours. Now I got to say, maybe like 10 of those uh, were probably off because there have been moments where I've just let this, left this game on and gone to do other stuff. And the, that clock still ticks, so. I don't know, I can't say that it's always, all of it's been committed, but uh, maybe some of it. You can run around in any outfit, nice. All right, well, let's see, chapter selection. 
Are you playing a portion of the game that should be a chapter selection or returning you to the start of the chosen chapter? Your current characters, levels, weapons, and material, and relationship status will carry over. You can also now choose to carry over your quest data. Note that any odd jobs you have yet to complete will automatically reset. When you select a chapter, you'll be given the option to play it on hard difficulty. Yes. Alright, well, let's try this. Uh... Where's the option for that? Hold on. Hey, everybody got to level 50. Good. I'm trying to see here, did they... Are the options for this deal? Is it in system? Oh, extra settings. Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, let's do the chapter twelve one because that one's a little bit more interesting. Oh, we could even change the conclusion. We could do an intimate or a standard conclusion. Well, I've just been... We were trying to shoot for Yuffie, but I think all was... It was too late to start working on her. Uh, so... <laughs> we were kind of disappointed by that fact. Uh, however, we can now rectify that. It's really nice that you retain all side quests you've done along with power levels and items. Yeah, I do prefer that. that it was the same in uh, Remake too, right? You could, like, retain all your stuff. I mean, the only thing about chapter selection and everything is just, like, if you're... The only difficult thing, I should say, is if you're trying to do hard mode, because you can't use items. Pretty cool. Actually, let me see. Hold on, I'm just curious now. Others. <laughs> All three of them? <laughs> what? Kate Sith, Vincent, and Sid will accompany you in the gold saucer. Uh, that sounds interesting. But, like, uh, all the companions are available except for just, like, everybody that they threw into a pile here. <laughs> it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. Then I break. It was. Oh, right. So. The only potential problem with this is how long it might take to get there. Because we can't, I don't think we can... No. We can't fast travel from this point. I think we could, we could fast travel, well actually there's the, the chopper and everything. Once we get to Costa del Sol. There's still a handful of extra things I need to do in the game, too. I mean, I think there's, like, if I wanted to look... Wow, well, there's, like, the the minuscule bullshit, like, uh, trying to get perfect scores on the battle record data or, uh, you know, any of the given mini games or something like that. I wouldn't be doing that shit. I don't even think any of that counts for a trophy or anything. But uh, some of the side quest stuff I might end up doing. Man who tries to lord his power over me is... Uh, the lovely thing that we could do here is skip cutscene. Hang loose. Yuffie! Good lord, girl. Kinda curious, actually. Oh, we can't just fast travel here. I don't even need to take the chopper. I did use the chopper last time just to arrive in style, but... The only problem is I don't know what I'm necessarily supposed to do. Let's see if we can... 
do this fast. I think we're supposed to be searching for Dio. We've arrived at your destination. Yare, yare does it. Check it out, Cloud. Can you believe this? No. I bought some protein powder. Did you see that three? Coliseum will host an epic contest. This is our time, guys. Aha! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Oh, Director! Shit. Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Alright. Wait, what? Oh. Gonna go back through the blue corner. Gotta be ghost swear for me. We've arrived at your destination. Jumps of blood, screams of pain. I hear you'll be taking part. You'd better. Good night until tomorrow. I'm gonna risk it and skip. I want to say that there's a you can walk up to the door when somebody knocks on it, so it doesn't count as a cutscene. Oh, we gotta do this bullshit! <laughs> Damn you, Zach! I guess I forgot about this. Earth sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. Make sure that you're back by dinner. Fortunately, most of it's cutscenes. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right about that. For Cosmo Canyon, you felt the whole Red 13 father was rushed and the geese show up with a new aspect. People that are acted like a place was a tourist town. Yes. So I, I, I touched on that before. I didn't like the whole tourism angle. I didn't like the whole cult angle. I didn't like Bougainagan. I didn't like the whole how they handled Red 13. But you, thank you for reminding me because it also kind of irked me. It, it's kind of, it's a genuinely moving moment. And I know that's silly to say about a video game, but you know, even not even like knowing these characters all that well, but the way it's kind of like presented to you in the original game when you you know learn about what happened with uh seto red 13's father and you know how he defended the way the music swells in that segment the way red 13 like climbs up there and you know he's howling and the camera pans upward and stuff it's, it all builds up relatively nice but you know, Red 13 and this one, he's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be cool like you. And then, like, the geese show up and they're like, well, come with us. We need to show you something. And it's like, all right. <laughs> Thanks for, like, stepping all over that moment for us. Although it was probably already ruined because of Red 13's weird, kooky personality. Um, I also don't know how I feel necessarily about the gee being... I don't know. The I don't I don't feel like the black materia necessarily needed to have that kind of backstory to it. With like the ghee being undying, it it seemed to lead to nothing but I don't know, overcomplications. It's like the black materia is just something that could end the world. We don't really need to know why it was created. And even then, how are they able to like conjure up such a thing? Will we ever get to know how they had this ability? I don't know. Probably in part three. I, I feel like part three, the more I think about it, I feel like part three is going to go way more off the rails than any, either of these two games, Rebirth or Remake. Uh, 
Oh boy, who's it gonna be? <gasps> Yo. Hey. You. Couple tickets. Want to see it together? I'm not the only one who's got a big day tomorrow. You ought to get some rest. Stop being so shitty. I know. But I'm too excited to sleep. I need to do something to let out all this pent up energy. Uh, I got a few things in mind. Ride the sky wheel. That's so. <laughs> Plus, you've been frowning so much, I figured you forgot how to smile. That's where I, the amazing Yuffie, come in. Come on. All right. Where the fun begins. <laughs> Pent up energy, eh? <laughs> Well, oh uh, yeah, retract the previous booze from the other day. Well, hopefully it'll pay off. We'll see. I'm really glad that they they have this option though, because like if it was a thing where you had to play the game all over again in order to like redo the date segment, I would have. I mean, I probably wouldn't have thought much of it because you know that's essentially how it is in the original game. But I still would have been bummed out. I guess we need to do uh, everything in order. The exact same, uh, exactly the sort of thing they would bait New Game Plus with. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> I mean, it's it's good enough incentive. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just happy it's a it's a feature. Well, actually, before we do this, I want to see if we can uh, do other things. So, now, the sky wheel's baked in. We know that is going to be a given. But can we do anything else? Come on, Yuffie, let's go do something. I wonder if we, can we play her in the game again? It's like when you were looking for Dio, you could fight against Yuffie and she was kicking my goddamn ass. Oh. Uh, let me... Uh, I'll do one Shiva battle. I'll see if there's like any additional dialogue or something. I suck at this game. I did press left. Oh, up that time. Ugh. Whatever. Damn it. The hell, where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> Thought she ditched me for a second. Ah, she didn't say anything. Uh, she's probably not gonna do anything additional, I'm sure. I mean, that's fine. Just would have been a nice little extra thing if she either would have joined in or had like some dialogue to say We've arrived at your destination How did you forget tickets to this Oh you know what she probably stole them Are you here to see Loveless Totally got these tickets free. Audience members will also be invited to participate in tonight's revival. Once the show has been Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Come on, let's find our seats to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. Make a bloom. Please speak to a member oh. of the staff at your earliest. 
Yeah, it's as I figured. Oh, it's like that that ending segment with like Aerith's pop number. <laughs> it's like way too involved to have another character in that place. Would you like to sing it? Me? She's not actually gonna sing it. She's gonna lip sync it. I'm kind of tempted to skip this, but I don't know how far it would go. It's like there was a huge number. It is skippable. I forget how it goes in the, um, the original game though, because when we first did the the first date, which in in my playthrough I ended up going um, uh, with Tifa, but I was like bummed out. I'm like, oh okay, and this happened a lot earlier than I remember. But I don't remember if there was like a like somebody that you could go. With. I think you were just like wandering around the Gold Saucer, but you ne didn't necessarily go with somebody. So I think the like two date thing might be unique to this. But I was like almost kind of disappointed. I'm like, oh, we, we do the date and everything's like locked away. There's like no play. There's no wheel. Also, you got Aerith on chapter 12. Almost had a red. Wow. Kind of curious to see what all the characters are like, but I mean, I can't. It would. I would assume it would take too long. So I think I might just do Yuffie. Although I'm curious to see what the, the three-man group is going to be like, <laughs> because that just sounds interesting. Um, but yeah, it's like when we did the first one with, with Tifa, um, I was disappointed, not necessarily because it was Tifa, but you know, just because it was, it felt like it was, um, I don't know, kind of rushed, but th this is where the date would have happened, uh, when they're trying to get the keystone. So this lines up better to have like more of these events happen on the second date as opposed to put it in that first spot. Not to pay attention though, because if we, uh, if there's like an actual gameplay quote unquote moment that ends up happening after this bit, then, uh, if I do end up trying another date, I will, uh, skip this because this doesn't really show us any unique segments. It's also shouldn't really mean a whole lot to Yuffie. <laughs> Barrett and Tifa. I guess they'd uh, appreciate this more since it's Jesse. Everybody else is like, who the hell is that? Yeah, way better than me. Yeah, no shit, Cloud. <laughs> I don't exactly peg you for a ballerina. Today's performance takes audience participation to the next level. Also, I remember Sid waking up at the very end of this, but I don't remember him, like, dosing off after the first part. My family used to take me to plays every now and again. I think I fell asleep at everyone. Except uh, until I got a little older, but for whatever reason, when I used to go to future oh, as a kid, belt always falling asleep. Wet and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. 
Malfrey was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. Did anyone disclose that they were like participating in the play? In the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. I will face my fate. I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Oh my god, it's her. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm here to rescue you. Rosa. How did you find me? Actually, it's, well, it's, I guess it's the character of the play. <laughs> I was wondering if the character name would change. The old princess intuition, I guess. You can thank me later. Ye old. Pray take not another step, gentle princess. Varvados. Would the cur defy his captor? Now I'm curious. If we end up doing the date with By Barrett or the Red goddess, Thirteen, who takes their place here? Has set me free. Or is it just gonna be one of them? Even now, so too shall she guide my place. If it's the second, the latter option, that'd just be lame. But it'd be funny if there was like a stand-in for one of these guys. Pride goeth before the fall, and I garm. Shut up. <laughs> Pride eh, I guess we did Varvados last time first, so we'll try this with red first. May my infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Waiting for more stuff to pop up. There's like nothing that really seems to constitute a great from a good, but whatever. Bravo! What a splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met. Noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. Uh. <laughs> yes. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar!
remember him doing that. Some of these moves in particular, so... I don't even think he's selecting one over the other first. Ended up changing any of the animation. It's just like one's more difficult this time around than it was if he did the opposite. But, I guess it's to be expected. Got him! Oh, we got 23. Everything great on that go. It's all just great. A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship. Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only <laughs> one act remains. Like the biggest grin. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Yeah, despair. Spectacular. Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, I'm curious what happens when you pick one of the others, but maybe I'll save that for some other go. Because, <laughs> I mean, we did this whole thing for Yuffie, so we have to see how she reacts. <laughs> I still like that reaction from Barrett. Me? Oh. <laughs> Come, Rosa. Look at that face. My love. Alfred. <sighs> <laughs> Control yourself, woman. Ah, face the charade. Love is not what an illusion. <laughs> Goddess above, let my blade strike true. Ah, she also has a staff. I was somewhat curious if it would change since, uh, you know, Aerith has a staff, so normally she would use it here, but uh, I guess Yuffie does too. rubbing my thumb all over the face buttons. Yeah. Wait, we got a bad one? Where? Bereft of wings and broken. I can sign you to the Must have been one I missed. Quite literally. That was pretty good. Heroic even. High <laughs> praise. Coming from a princess, but don't let it go to your head. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't think Aerith had the same animations. Will the 
goddess grants you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look! Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. Thought's voice acting is funny in this, because it kind of, it's like it's like a weird balance between not giving a shit and trying. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it more than that. Oh boy, we got the number. Yeah, the song's coming up. And it's still Aerith's <laughs> big song. I just don't know. Uh... Yeah, I'm tempted to skip it, but yeah, I wonder if Yuffie's going to have anything. <laughs> they, ah, too bad, bitch. <laughs> I did notice that they used the song at the end credits. Uh, I do not remember a remix uh, ending song, though. I don't remember there being any uh, musical numbers in the actual game either, so... Uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I could have a selective memory about that kind of thing. Sometimes when, like, there's a video game and there's, like, a bunch of singing going on, it, kind of turns on the Kring receptors in my brain and it sort of shuts off. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, at least they're doing something fun with Yuffie. Once again, it kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy X-2. Like, I don't remember ever getting the impression that Yuna was much of a singer. Maybe a performer. You know, when she's doing the sending and everything, it, uh, it's kind of like a performance of sorts. But, um, yeah, she just, like, turned into a pop idol. <laughs> that was a bad game. <laughs> uh, again, I think we talked about it, like, during this exact segment. Um, I... I enjoyed aspects of it. I liked the, um, what am I hearing? Oh, there's a, uh, my speaker's on actually a little bit. I didn't even notice. Um, I enjoyed aspects of it, like the, uh, costume spheres, uh, which I guess is how she sort of became a pop star because the sphere that she was using was, um, like some sort of songstress thing, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, class changes I've always thought were fun. <laughs> Don't go dancing off too far. But it was just, it just felt like such a change of pace that Final Fantasy X, honestly, is one of my favorites in the series. And it has a very particular tone and theme to it. And then, I don't know, X-2... This is just like too far. <laughs> they went too far in a few places.
Tecmo, welcome in. How about 14th? Uh, you mean the 14th Final Fantasy? I uh, MMOs aren't really my thing, so I never really played it. I've seen people play it, and a lot of people... I've got a few friends that are like really into it. I can understand the appeal, but I'm more of a single player uh, when it comes to video games. So, MMOs have never really been up my alley all that much. Also, 7, 9, 10, and 16. Wow. Are your go to games there? I like 16 a lot. There was, I did not like a lot of the quests, even like some of the mainline quote unquote stuff felt like very, very bare bones to me. Like, go from point A to point B and then bring back an item from point B to point A. Um, but I did like some of the monster hunting. I thought the combat was very fun. Even, you know, for playing it for 40 hours or whatever, I never really got bored of the combat. And just, it was such a, it, it, once it got to those big moments, those huge spectacles, I just thought that was, it's a lot of those really neat. A lot of eye candy in that game. But um, for me, Fourteenth not actually an MMO game, it's a story tale like Final Fantasy VII. The Aether is any? I don't know if I quite got that. Um, but, alright. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely story elements to it. Mark my words. Next time, I'm gonna be the leading lady. And sing the Materia song? Just you wait. Attention! The sky wheel will be closing no. soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. All right. No. Sounds like it's sky wheel time. Hot. Thank you for joining us for tonight's All right. special performance of Love. But anyway, I mean 14 I've never played. So I guess I wouldn't know. I'm not taking any merits away from it. I just I don't know that I'd enjoy it that much. But maybe one of these days I'll break down and give it a try. But never, never played 11, never played 14. Uh, Final Fantasy 2, 3, and 4 I've never beaten. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16. I've beaten all those. Uh, as far as my favorites, I'd probably say uh, 7... Nine, I think, is my all-time favorite. Ten. Um, Twelve would be kind of like towards the bottom, but I really like twelve. Also, it gives the same emotion like uh, seven remake. All right. Well, again, maybe one of these days I'll give it a try, see how it it goes. Again, I, I know a fair amount of people. I have a lot of friends that play it, and they love it to death. So. I mean, that might be good enough incentive right there, just knowing that I know people personally that really enjoy it, so. But, I, there's so many games I gotta play. <laughs> it's like the only way I'm doing Final Fantasies these days is if they're brand new and I <laughs> feel the need to stream them. I mean, technically it is an MMO, though. though. I, I get that it has a story, but uh, it is an MMO. <laughs> You can't just say it's like it's not a massive multiplayer online game. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Practice for what? Uh <laughs> for when the real thing comes around. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, oh, don't do that. <laughs> You're going to be miserable. I went over my detailings of my encounter with a spinning ride like that. I think it changed my brain forever. What? 
let's take a break. Uh, I'm sure that's idea. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's a long game, sure, but worth it. I got you. <laughs> she pukes all over his crotch. <laughs> Way to kill the mood. She was so busy after the move to Midgard that she forgot all about you, too. <laughs> Don't know what it is about you guys, but I get it. I had a thing for a soldier once. At least I think he was a soldier. I wanted to prove myself, so I hit him with my best moves. <laughs> Was like I was firing energy blasts. After a few salvos, he shouted, "You got me!" And at the time, I totally bought it. Of course, he was just playing along for a dumb kid. I th yeah, Zay. I think I think she might be referring to Zach. That sounds like one of the interactions they had. Thinking about him. I swore to myself that one day I'd blast that jerk for real. Did some hardcore training so I could give him a beat down. Also, they pushed Tifa and Aerith so hard. <laughs> but they're cannon! Eventually, it dawned on me. He was just being nice. Like, he was a really nice guy. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized... Wow. I liked him. You know? Maybe it's because of those feelings that I still can't fire energy blasts. I can help. Uh, with the energy blasts? Or my feelings? The former. Feelings ain't my thing. <laughs> <sighs> I think we both kind of suck in that department. <laughs> oh. Some or whisper something to him. <laughs> I mean, that, that is the sort of thing you're supposed to do in these situations. It was just practice. She kissed him. So, so don't go thinking it means anything, okay? Oh, say something. <laughs> you're so annoying. Again, what should I do? That's up to you. But if it were me, I'd let him have it. <laughs> Cloud can break his mold. Tell anyone about tonight, and you're a dead man. Every once in a while. I guess he just has to open up to somebody. <laughs> I 
There she goes. Well, that was cute. Uh, she had some great close-ups. I, I loved um, some of her reactions. And then uh, her like lip-syncing along with uh, Aerith's song. <laughs> Worth going back. <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, it's a shame that there's like some pretty lengthy cutscenes just prior to that, but... Oh yeah, I just finished this game tonight, so... That was the first time we saw anything of it. Uh, and now that we've completed the date sequence, there really isn't anything else I need to do here. I do not want to do that fight <laughs> in the battle arena again. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little bit much. Um, but... Let's see... I wonder, I guess we could chapter select at any point then. I'm kind of curious to see where would the best way to, best place to do that be at? Maybe where angels fear to tread? I'm kind of curious to see where the uh, Gilgamesh thing leads up to. Finished about six hours back. I got you. Yeah, we just wrapped up probably about an hour ago. I think I've been mostly playing this game on stream at least as far as the story segments go but um, I've been doing a couple of like the extra side mission bonus stuff uh, on um, off stream but it's kind of taking a little bit of time to get through we're about a I guess we're closing in on about a month since this game has been released so pretty lengthy as we've seen from my gameplay time uh, and, you know, some of it might be chalked up to just idling for a bit, but I still think I probably plugged in a good maybe like 80 hours in this game. Something like that. So, a lot of gameplay. Didn't enjoy every second of it necessarily, but overall I feel it was pretty good. I hate purchasing games on PlayStation 2 these days since they got that $70 price tag attached to them. Not too keen on that. I hated paying $60 back in the day. $10 shouldn't make that much of a difference, but mentally it does. <laughs> but um, at least when the game's long, I feel like it's worth it. If I end up beating a game, a new game that I buy in like a week, I'm pretty disappointed with it. So fortunately, these uh, RPGs tend to take a while, so I feel like I get my money's worth. But it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the playthrough. I've enjoyed the streams. I don't know. I guess at this point, we're just waiting for part three, whenever that's going to be. Minimum, I think, uh, three years, but it might be even longer than that. 175 hours, wow. Now, granted, I didn't even do everything. I tried to get all the side quests complete, but there's still a couple that I'm missing, and Obviously, there's stuff like this. Uh, dude, I got so much shit. I, like, earlier this year, I pulled out a stack of games from my physical collection, and I was like, I'm definitely going to be doing these on stream next, but I don't know. I do kind of want to go, because when I finished Remake, I played through the original Final Fantasy up to where Remake ended, uh, and... I kind of want to go back and do the original Final Fantasy up to where about Rebirth ended. Although I don't know if I should end at the City of the Ancients or at the Temple of the Ancients. <laughs> I guess maybe the Temple. Um, but I feel like we'll, we'll, we can still breeze through that pretty quick because obviously the segments are going to be a lot shorter. I do need to do my Super Nintendo RPGs, so I do want to do a Chrono Trigger at some point. Um, but aside from that, like, what's really been nagging at me? A couple, like, interstitial weird games that I want to do. I, I want to go back to uh, some of the movie games I did. Uh, about a month or two ago, we did a Matrix game and a Lord of the Rings game, and I kind of want to do another one of those. <laughs> I want to do the Path of Neo game to see if it was as jank as uh, Enter the Matrix. Um, and I want to do Lord of the Rings Conquest, because I bought that game ages and ages and ages ago back I think when the servers were still online for it and I never played it uh, and I was kind of curious after playing um, the Lord of the Rings official game official Tolkien licensed game it wasn't licensed after the movie but uh, that old PS2 game was just like 
jogging my memory back for a bunch of Lord of the Rings stuff, so I kind of wanted to try like the campaign mode in that. See how it is. That's probably going to be pretty short. Um, other than that, I got a bunch of other shit pulled out. A bunch of PS3 games. Oh, we were doing Factor 5 games. That's right. I was doing the Rogue Squadron series. So I kind of wanted to do Battle for Naboo. Um, I got Lair on PS3. You can always go back to the Armored Core games. I'm still working on the ones from PS2. Some of the other PS3 games I got pulled out. Folklore, which is another RPG, but I hear that one's a bit on the shorter side. Wet, I never finished. I was thinking about doing that. X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I bought a long time ago also and never finished it. Uh, what else is there? Time splitters I was thinking of doing. There's a lot of shit. We were talking... No, wait. I wasn't talking about... You You just came in today, Zara. Um, I was talking with somebody. Oxcat, I think. Um, they were playing Kodelka, which is kind of like the precursor to Shadow Hearts. I do have Shadow Hearts. I've got them physically. Um, I've got the whole series, actually. I've got the original and Covenant and uh, Brave New World. Um, I've never actually finished the original. I've only ever completed um, Covenant. Uh, so one of these days, it's just like, oh my god, this! I've got so many RPGs and they take so goddamn long to get through. This game took me a month. <laughs> and before that, we did Earthbound earlier this year. But before that, I did Super Mario RPG. All those games take so much time. But, yeah, I mean, I'd like to do Shadow Hearts, but, oh boy. I just don't know how long they're going to be. Usually before I end up streaming a game, I kind of take a look at how long to beat to see, um, you know, about how long it's going to take me. And some, if there's, like, an RPG that's on the shorter side, I'm a little bit more keen on trying it. But, oof. I do want to do... The reason why I want to do the Super Nintendo stuff, though, is because I own them physically, and I, I want to play the games physically before the batteries die out. And yes, I know I could emulate it, but I don't know. I just... I, I, I own the thing. I might as well play it. <laughs> I've never completed um, my physical copy of uh, Chrono Trigger, also. Uh, and the only time I've ever played that game through to completion was actually the uh, PS1 version. Which I was thinking of doing, because I kind of want to see the Toriyama cutscenes, but... Style cutscenes, I guess he did, himself didn't animate it, but, you know. You know what I mean. But in any case, there's no shortage of games. I've got so much shit. The only good thing is that there's not a whole lot of new releases coming out this year that I think I'm going to be buying and playing on stream. I think, uh... We're pretty clear for most of the year. I think the only other new thing that I might vaguely be interested in is the Indiana Jones game. Uh, but other than that, I think we've got a pretty clear schedule in terms of like brand new stuff. So uh, the plus side about that is uh, I don't have anything that's going to be hogging up any time unless there's a surprise release or something that crops up or I absolutely cannot do without streaming it. This is it. The mysterious landmass I've wanted to see since it first appeared. Gilgamesh Island. All of 20 I minutes ago. Submerged. I assume the ocean must have shielded it from the magnetic fields. But the question remains, how does a once submerged island catalyze a dimensional distortion? It certainly gets the gears turning. Oh, excuse me. To review, we're after the Genji equipment, formerly known as Proto Relics, as well as the Bladesman of Legend who covets them. Both should be somewhere on this island, but where? And that is the last thing I would like you to investigate. Okay. All right. One last favor for Chudley. I don't know that this is the greatest. Pro well, I don't know. Earth, I guess it's fine. I just want to see Gilgamesh. How I have longed for this moment ever since they left my care. I have been counting the minutes until their return. Also, I didn't catch that. You do remember Conquest being pretty short. I mean, it's a campaign for what is mostly an online game. It was made by Pandemic, um, and it plays a lot like Battlefront, the originals. So I can't imagine that it'd be too long. I did um, the amazing campaign mode for Battlefront 2 
uh, about two years ago, and that was pretty short. I think I did it in like two streams. Probably back then I was streaming like two or three hours per stream. Not these like four to six hour streams like I've been doing lately. To the rightful owner, the swordsman Gilgamesh! Yes, you rogues, tis I, the Genji's chosen keeper, and I demand you relinquish them forthwith! I don't know why Gilgamesh became such like a popular character in the series. I want to say that his first appearance was... Oh boy, was it five or four? Now I forget. But like, they keep bringing him back. <laughs> I don't remember him being like an amazing character or anything. Blemished and begrimed and befouled all. How could you be so utterly remiss in their care? Wasn't us. We found him like that. Mm hmm. Unbelievable. Veritable pearls cast before swine. Fret not, my darlings. Daddy's here now. He's going to fix you up good as new. You'll see. It seems our battle will have to wait. In its place, the tempering shall be your charge. Uh. What? You thief! Ha ha ha! Says the knave who stole them first. I think I really saw him in World of Final Fantasy. He was in that, but that incorporated a lot of different Final Fantasies. And for the defilement of my beloved armor, you must atone! Fine. We'll fix him. And when we're done, we'll keep him. You first saw him in... You this, yeah, he was in Dissidia, wasn't he? I think you mean your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the ass doth bray and bluster! <laughs> Very well. I shall take pity on you. <laughs> your task is to travel round in search of ritual shrines. And at each, reforge the Genji in the fires of battle. I don't even get to fight him? At least not immediately? Beauties, they shall grow stronger and regain their brilliance. Now, go forth and fight. Hasten their magnificent rebirth. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Um, he was in... God, I want to say, I think he was in Final Fantasy VIII. I know for sure he was in Final Fantasy XII. Um, he was in Final Fantasy XIII II. <laughs> uh, he was in... He wasn't in fifteen. Or was he? I'm trying to think of all the other ones that he was in. Jump over it at this point. There you go. <laughs> but it's usually like a little a little extra thing. He's he's never been integral in into a story. I think outside of the his first appearance, it's usually like he's an extra boss. But. He's usually like a, a weapons collector of sorts, I guess. Uh, looks like the fires are actually around here. Still, we have to like fight a bunch of shit before we could actually fight him himself. That's kind of disappointing. I was really looking forward to a battle. But uh, I guess that's how it goes. Um, let me take a look. See how many appearances he's had. Final Fantasy Gilgamesh. Because I'm curious which game... Oh, it was 5. Okay. Alright. I was thinking it was 5, but then I was also thinking... Oh, man. It could be... It could be 4. Uh... Oh, I guess he was in 6. Which I don't even remember. 7 Rebirth. He was uh, in 8 as a Suedo Guardian Force. I've only ever played 8 once. I do not remember him. Oh, he was in nine. 
Yeah, there was a treasure hunter that had four arms. I guess I forget that that was him. But he had, yeah, he had a bunch of different names though, including like Alleyway Jack. But I guess that was Gilgamesh. Apparently he was in Final Fantasy XI, Final Fantasy XII, 12, 12 Revenant Wings. I guess he was in 13. I remember him in 13 too, but 13 it seems like. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Like I see a picture of him, but not like an actual avatar. Apparently he's in 14. Oh, he was in 15. <laughs> he was in 15 in DLC. Uh, so yeah, he's been around. He's, he's been in a lot of different games. Uh, but they keep bringing him back. And usually not to any great extent. I think the only time he was like a primary boss he had to fight was in Final Fantasy V. Every other time it's just been kind of like extra stuff. But he's like one of those characters. Like a Biggs or a Wedge or a Sid or whatever. Where you can just bring him in every now and again. I'll tell you a little secret that uh, I've never seen anybody bring up, um, but there is, not that, that's my own channel. Um, what is it? Uh, so it's no secret that Uematsu borrows, you know, certain like intros and stuff for some of his music. Uh, but I found a song called Edward the Mad Shirt Grinder when I was just listening to Spotify like on open playlist one time. And I found that the intro to that song is like, like the in intro piano is exactly like the battle on the big bridge. Let me pull both of them up so we can compare. But uh, let's see, battle on the big bridge, what does it sound like? And the rest of it's different, but then... That's the Edward the Mad Shirt Grinder. It's the same intro. <laughs> and you might say, ah, it's, ah, it's different enough. Eh, yeah, kinda, but it's like the same notes and everything. So, it's just one of those things. It's kind of like how like the intro to One Winged Angel was the same as... Uh, he, he, and he admitted it, too, but it's uh, he took the intro from uh, Purple Haze. Uh... So it's just just one of those things. He's not like a like a Koji Kondo or somebody where they just like lift entire choruses of songs, but uh, it is a it does have that same little intro beat to it. Other than that, it's not really a good song. It's uh, <laughs> the Edward the Mad Shirt Grinder is kind of like a, a weird psychedelic song. It kind of goes off on a tangent. I'm curious to see how exactly these notes match up for Purple Haze, but let's see. For the Final Fantasy original soundtrack. It's just, it's literally, literally just that. <laughs> and obviously it's much slower, but still, it's a borrowed intro. And that was one of the ones that Uematsu actually, I remember him talking about it in a, uh, in an interview. So, you know, he admits it. It's not exactly like theft or anything. It's like when they blamed, um, I think Jimmy Page or whoever wrote Stairway to Heaven for taking that Taurus song. And it's like, eh, it's like one little sequence in the song. I don't think it's exactly the same, but you could lift stuff every now and again. They say that everything in music's been done. You can never come up with something original. So I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that's what they say. Anyway, that aside, um, I don't know that there's anything else I necessarily need or want to do with Rebirth here. Uh, I could... Uh, I could take a look and see what's all required with this. If it's like a big, massive battle. Undertake the tempering. Oh, we have to fight summons? Ooh, this might not be good. Some of these summons are hard.
I think in particular, uh, Bahamut's got like Tetra Flare or Mega Flare or something. Let me get out of here. And that can kill all your party members like at once. So, not exactly the greatest thing to have to contend with. I don't know what the pulse of violence is, but I guess I'll use it. Oh, good lord. <laughs> And it got grabbed. Let's see. Uh... Oh, that's right. I used my plethora of items during that uh, little boss run that we had at the end of the game. What this is? This like a shield or something? There's like a pulse of violence. I don't know if it's like giving him a buff or something else is happening, but whatever it is, it ain't great. Let's see. Pressure. Can you take over for me? Over breakfast. Oh, oh, uh, okay. No, 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 no. Let's see if I can do a little arise. Why don't you leave the taking off? So it's my turn? Can you handle them? You're in good hands. God damn. It's like every time I try to take a little break away from Bahamut here, this bastard Titan keeps coming up against us. Okay, Cloud's dead. And Aerith's almost dead. Let's see if she can get Cloud up before she dies. Oh my goodness. Scoop, thank you for the raid. Uh, we're a bit of in a precarious position here because I'm getting my ass handed to me on some optional boss runs. <laughs> and I don't really want to... I don't want to have to do this. Oh, it took actually a lot less time to use the Phoenix down than I thought it would. Hi Blaze, welcome in. What's going on, Scoob? Welcome back. How are you doing? How are you? How was your stream? Let me get you your shout out here. And deserves multiple shout outs if I can give it to him. Scoob was uh, showering me with gifts uh, when he was in here not even that long ago. Man, I almost um, I was thinking if you were on, I was probably going to raid you. You did Fall Guys. You did end up doing Fall Guys. What's up, Vale? Oh, I understand. I'm, I'm, I already beat the game, Vale. Uh, I appreciate you being here, but yeah, we're, we're just kind of doing extra stuff at the moment. We're not even playing the core game. <laughs> you had fun? Did you join in, Blaze? You were doing, uh, some fall games? I'm sorry, I probably would have. In fact, I was thinking about wrapping up here in a second, but, uh... <laughs> oh, boy. For a few games, okay, cool. I'm gonna have to join Scoob into one of these Fall Guys deals one of these days, because uh, he has personally invited me. He's personally invited to escort me through a couple games. Be my personal escort. And Wu Tai's white rose. Weather so 
And that's how that went. That's about as expected. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, I guess we got a return of the title screen. Usually they give me an option to do it before the battle. I do not want to do the battle again. I don't think I have the, the ability. <laughs> Before I didn't wrap it up, just bring it on in. Ever seen the movie The Bodyguard? Oh, yes. <laughs> Be your Whitney Houston. The wind beneath my wings or yours? Right, let's just continue. All right. Well, we're at an extra bit here where it seems like we need to do these battles. We need to fight two summons at once in order to get uh, the rest of this side quest done, which is a pain in the ass. Oh, it'll get windy, all right. I got no doubt about that. Big old bag of wind, a couple of blowhards. Uh, but yeah, I do not think I have the capability for this. This definitely seems like something that's supposed to be done like... Uh, Oh, thank you, Vale. Wait, no, is that... Oh, Scoob, once again. <laughs> you are too kind today. I don't know what your problem is, sir. What is your major malfunction? You've been, like, gifting subs like crazy, but I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. There's several little spots here. I guess this is another shrine where we could potentially do a boss battle, but it's like we have to fight summons in order to do it. And it's not even like, if it was consecutive, I'd say that'd probably be doable because I've actually fought these bosses, these summons before. It's how you get them. Probably just drunk. Well, I mean, who doesn't get that way every once in a while, but <laughs> still, I do appreciate it. Whether you are in a uh, right mind or not. Drunk Scoob? Getting drunk? Never. Alright, well... Uh... Since we're... Kinda... Looking for something to do. I don't really have anything else to do. Oh my goodness. Did you gift another one or was that somebody else? No, you... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hey, man. However you want to play it. I don't know that I can return the favor all that much, but, uh, you know, catch me on a good day and we might see what we could do. <laughs> but thank you, though. I appreciate it. Why don't we... Let's do another... Ch um, let's check out another date. This will only be, like, somewhat mildly story-related, but not really. I'm going to skip most of the cutscenes. I just want to see, like, the extra mystery date. Others. And sure, we'll go for an intimate conclusion. I return the favor, then only Twitch wins. <laughs> oh, we can't be having that. You want me to win? Okay, well, I appreciate it. Oh, you just enjoy the stream. I thank you. I am forever grateful. I'm glad that you enjoy the stream. I'm always happy to have you here. It's always fun interacting with you. I enjoy your streams as well. Let's see if I catch you more often. Alright. Let's try this. I want to see what this extra date thing is. Oh, I know what you can and can't do. I know you could be a little, a little, a little trolly every now and again. Here, I will, just so we're not, let's see if we could turn the speech all the way down, just to make 100% certain there's like no spoilers going on. I will say though, that this game plays the, um, pretty close to the original, you know, in terms of like story. So it's like, if you played the original game, not too, too much to spoil. They kind of go off on a tangent every now and again. And there's like some extra little bits here and there that differ, but for the most part, they stick it pretty close. So if you've seen or played the original, you're probably going to know what's going to happen with this one.
Do love the play. Well, everybody going to be having access to those emotes. As I always say, if you sub or whatever, if you have a sub and you have an emote suggestion, you can feel free to let me know what you'd like to see. I might swap them out for you. Although I do like to have them themed around games that I've played, but there might be some kind of workaround we can do. I do draw them myself, most of them. Most of the cartoony ones are the ones that I drew. If it looks like it came from like a great game screen cap, then uh, it probably did. I'm <laughs> referring to the one story moment uh, that I didn't purchase the DLC to prevent, yes. That's kind of the big spoiler for anyone that's unfamiliar with Final Fantasy VII. And Square Enix, those bastards. According to Scoob, they have some sort of DLC where you can just change up the story whenever. All right, now that we got that little travel section out of the way, let's take a look and get that back up. We're just going to see what's on the date. We're not going to see the musical segments, although I probably have to end up playing the... Uh, QTE segment again, but at least it's not like heavily story related or anything. Oh wait, no. That was, wait. Wait. <laughs> well, you gain so many characters. Let's see how you could lose any. No, we're going to do the other. I am curious to see what the other party members are like. I would kind of like to see, like, Barrett and stuff, but um, there was the one that was just other, and apparently it's Kate Sith, Vincent, and Sid all wrapped into one. Oh, what a deal. $49.99. <laughs> I don't think I've ever spent more than $10 on a DLC expansion. If I have, then it probably wasn't a good purchase. Wait, where's the fast travel thing? Oh, here's one. Where is this damn thing? Alright. It's always the same spot, I'm sure. Battle Square. We've arrived at your destination. For just the price of one full game, you too can add a character to your final party and change two minutes of a cutscene. Alright, again, most of the stuff we had seen already on stream is not different from how it was before. We're basically just taking a look at this to see what the actual date is like. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't look quite right. <laughs> we know where 50 of your dollars are going. <laughs> All right, I guess Squeenix wins this round. Honestly, we know that they're going to do like their inner grade intermission version of it at some point. So the smart people are the ones that are just waiting for it to come out on PC for half price and everything included. Hold on to your butts. Actually, I got so many movie quotes, I gotta put that one in. We've arrived at your destination. Well, I feel like Titus had a uh, <laughs> a good a good long enough voyage of where he came to a satisfying conclusion, so probably the former. <laughs> I think I think Titus was perfectly fine having made it through the entirety of the game. Of course, you'd go for Titus, yes. 
best of luck to you tomorrow. Damn. DLC whore, everyone knows it. Damn game companies. Can't let them get the better of you. I learned a long time ago that DLC tends to not be my favorite aspect of a game. Even if it's like an expansion or something big. I use, I, almost all, every DLC that I ever bought, I'm like, eh, that wasn't as fun as the main game. And then I just end up like sort of regretting <laughs> having bought it and spent time playing it. Even if it's perfectly serviceable, I felt like, uh, like Spider-Man, the original, uh, I say original, but you know, the insom the first Insomniac Spider-Man game. It's like the DLC for that. It's perfectly serviceable. It was just the main game, but like a little extra side bit, but I played it and I was like, eh, kind of wish I didn't play that. He thought his death never existence was more impactful. Well, he was kind of like a... Can't really call him a summon, but he was like willed into existence by aeons or whatever. The, those people up in the mountain. I'm going to save Aerith. Aerith, so holy would never happen. Sephiroth would actually win. <laughs> Just to piss off fans. Well, that'd be an interesting take. Who knows? Maybe you'll get your wish. All right, we're going to see. <laughs> Is it going to be like all three of them? That's what I wonder. Or are we just going to like change off people? Oops. It's all three of them. <laughs> Something on fire? Nope. Just happened to stumble across some tickets to Loveless. Oh my God. And thought I'd share my good fortune with you. We're like all the rejects. <laughs> Nobody wanted to hang out with us. <laughs> no, I wanted to invite everyone, but they'd already gone off on their own. Save for these two. Yeah, exactly. All right. We, so we are the rejects. Ain't nothing weird about watching a play with the guys. Come on, we'll make a night of it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little weird, Sid. Just a bit. This is all three of them just show up. Cool. Sup, fellas. I think Tifa muted the death of Era because they made her almost a parallel love interest. Well, she ends up hooking up with Cloud. If you build up her affinity levels in the original, uh, there is implied sexo between the two of them. See you again. So, you can't go any further than that. Alright, let's go check out the event. This will mean that we have to go through the QTEs again, but I think we could skip out on some of the other stuff. And here we are. He existed, his soul was basically kept from ascending until summoned into Yuna's world, basically. They trapped dead souls until one was needed like every five years. Big old freezer. He himself... He might have existed as um, Jet's son, but not in his form. Because oh, we have to remember that Yu Yevon, like when Xanarkand was a thing, and Yu Yevon like preserved the memory of them, they were all at the kind of state that they were in, save for Titus. Titus was the only one that kind of like advanced. So he was never, even if he like he existed like as a child at one point, like his his the way he was presented, I guess, in Final Fantasy X wasn't something that was like naturally occurring. It was like willed into existence by all the folks up in the up in the mountain. Um, because he wasn't committed. <laughs> well, you can't juggle two girls. It's not acceptable. I guess in this day and age. I think, I don't know that the romance was too... I don't know, I guess, you know, typically they'll have Aerith be like the date choice by default. But I, don't, I almost feel like the romance between Aerith and Cloud wasn't as strong in the original. I feel like they're trying to like push it a little bit more in, uh, in the remakes here. Oh boy. 
Watching a play with the boys. Yeah, again, Final Fantasy X is one of my favorites. I love, you know, the core story, but even just, like, the lore of it, I find very, very fascinating. I think that's what always pushes a game uh, for me. Like, above the others is when I can, like, get behind the lore and the mechanics that kind of make up the world that is presented to you just in the main game. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? I don't like the way that guy says that line. We've heard that line three times, and it's it like irks me every time. Would you like to sing it? I don't remember getting that much shit back in the day. Maybe like hardcore Final Fantasy X enthusiasts, or fi excuse me, Final Fantasy enthusiasts didn't like X, but um, I always felt like it had a fairly positive reception. I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Oh, boring. Boring. Ugh. <laughs> it's Aerith. Damn it. All right, well, this segment's a bust. <laughs> boring. I was hope I was really wondering who it was going to be. I'm like, is it going to be Vincent in the dress or is it going to be Sid? Because, like, Kate's already got a part. <laughs> So I was, like, really hoping it was going to be one of them, but, uh, no. No, it's still, it's just Aerith by default. Alright, we gotta, we'll skip through this. I don't even care about getting good marks. This, this does give me an opportunity to, like, bullshit, though, because we can, like, when, when Cloud's picking his, uh, love interest at the end, uh, we could pick Red or Barret. Also, when you saw CGI from Final Fantasy X at the time, uh, shit was top not Oh, yeah, like, the uh, pre-rendered cutscenes. That was like... I don't know, did the uh, Spirits Within come out at that time? Like, that was like the pinnacle of, like, CGI cinema. Was the Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy uh, Spirits Within. And I think, like, the uh, some of the pre-rendered cutscenes in X looked a little bit better than that movie. Oh, no, I would if I could have I would have <laughs> No scubert option unfortunately Although we do have uh, red he, he might do it be a good stand-in Apparently you can uh, bring him along on this date All right, well since you guys ain't gonna do anything interesting with this We didn't choose the weakness last time so let's see Hellhound is racked with a hunger that only a friend Also, I think due to the romance aspect, it's gotten a bad rap with nerds over the past 10 years. In Final Fantasy X, I guess I could see that. To sink them into bone. Delicious. Alluring and irresistible. And, and Titus wasn't exactly like the cool loner uh, character like, um, you know, Cloud or Squall before him. It's time we set the stage I guess Zidon wasn't either, but, you know. He had kind of like the rogue charm about him. I guess people were more tolerant to that. May mine infernal fangs find their mark. Also, you don't remember any really bad feedback on 10 other than people complaining uh, he died. But you felt there was a good thing destroying Sin, you Yevon. Let the souls be free to send, so there's no need to bring him back, because the cycle was broken. Yeah, it's all about breaking free from dogma and trends and, you know, breaking the mold and getting out of the circle. So, a very fascinating story. I was watching a friend stream Final Fantasy X recently and it really got me kind of in the mood to want to play it again. Last time I played it was when I streamed it, and I ended up streaming the HD edition, which uh, is markedly worse. 
than the original, so if I ever do end up playing that game and streaming it again, I'm going to do the my original PS2 version. Alright, Scoob, it's late, so you have a good night. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for man, all the subs and everything. I appreciate you. You take care. Have a good one. Um, here, I'm going to choose Barrett. My love. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Do it. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> he almost did it. What an illusion. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> this is all. This all looks the same as it was, so we'll just skip it. He, he almost went in for that hand. He, he was about to interlock those fingers. We we're going to get all sorts of loot. Also, the uh, the buttons float around in um, a QTE segment, but fortunately, with like this one, they're just stagnant. This kind of reminds me of like God of War or something, where they just kind of like are positioned on the screen like they would be on the controller. Because you know, triangles usually at the top, X is usually at the bottom, that kind of stuff. But. Um, I think the only the only other QTE segment. Um, there's just one that's got the floating buttons, so you only got to do it once. It's not, it's not huge, huge pain in the ass. Oops. We still got an S, even with all that bullshit. I missed so many. I, I think they're a little generous. Thank you for joining us for tonight. Oh, good thing I didn't skip the song uh, last time when we were doing the Yuffie date. Oh, there were so many good little clips of her making a fool of herself. I was, I was like half about to do it like right from the beginning. And that just spits you out back out here. All right, time to see what the wheel brings. Is it just going to be a bunch of guy talk? Now, I did pick the... Uh, when when you select which party member you can have the date with, it also gives you the option of the normal ending or the intimate ending. So we're going to see what kind of circle jerk we get up to in here. Are you ready to ride? This is where the fun begins. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It doesn't it work like that? <laughs> Can we just sit here and spin? Gentlemen, start your boners. Could at least throw in a joystick. That seems joysticky. Oh. Dumb kids toy. Come on. At least we can enjoy the scenery. <laughs> what an awkward group. <laughs> this is like the worst pairing of people. Look, you've got a space battle unfolding right before your very eyes. Tell me that doesn't send a chill down your spine. Eh. Uh, everybody, I can imagine all three of these guys like not giving a shit. Well, Sid's kind of getting into it. <laughs> Made it by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> Really couldn't be more bored. <laughs> They're not even moving. I don't think. Uh, are they breathing? You know, 
People sometimes ask me to predict who will win a race. Ah, come off it, I tell them. If I could do that, I wouldn't they still be working here now, would I? <laughs> hmm? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh. Whoa. This really gets us in the mood. <laughs> Spectacle! Seriously, are you lads seeing this? <laughs> They're not even looking. Uh, I think I think Vincent's dead. To hell with you, you wee scunners! Barbarians! I provide entertainment in spades, and all I get is cricket. tough crowd. Can Shit. we go any faster? This is torture. And how do you think I feel? Kate, zip it. Why are you taking his side? <laughs> I'm the one trying to make this fun. Got some nice shut eye in there. I'll be in the stands rooting for you tomorrow. Knock him dead. <laughs> well, that was a bust. <laughs> oh man, it was funny. It's kind of worth going through that bullshit uh, of the play again, even though we got. It would have been a lot more fun um, in the play section if somebody would have stepped in. I would have absolutely loved it if Vincent just walked up in the dress, but can't have everything. Uh, but still, the uh, the sky wheel was fun. So, I don't know. I'm glad we did it. I feel kind of bad for him, yeah. <laughs> Kate said it's a little bit more likable. He still pulls the same shit. It's like, yeah, again, this game uh, replicates pretty faithfully the original game. So it's like, but he 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 feels like more of a character I think in this game, so you do end up feeling for him a little bit more <laughs> in segments like that, and you know he's so friendly. Um, but I think that's it. I don't really think I got anything else left in me. Uh, we definitely can't even if I wanted to. We definitely can't um, do the uh, Gilgamesh deal. Because it's just, um, it's too hard. <laughs> All right, Zara. Well, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for the uh, follow earlier. And you take care. Have a good night. It is late, so I'm actually going to call it here. Uh, but I had fun. We got to beat the game. We got to see some extra stuff. A little bit of Gilgamesh. We got to see the Yuffie date, which was really cute. And um, <laughs> we got to see, we got to hang out with the lads. Uh, <laughs> so it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, let me see. Uh, let's take a look at, I guess, 420 Benny. Um, I think he's a friend of Daler. He's doing some Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Every once in a while, he does, like, Tomb Raider games or something, so... I don't know. He seems like an alright guy. It's very mellow. Like, very mellow. Uh, but I'll raid him since we got a raid from Scoob earlier. Thank you, guys. Walrus Vale. I appreciate all of you, Zara. Uh, thanks again to Scoob for like the multitude of um, subs that he gifted out and uh, everybody for sticking around. Had fun with you guys tonight. Hope you enjoyed the game. We'll be back uh, probably this weekend or early next week and get back into Tomb Raider 2. Look at f knocking that out. I'll just be doing Tomb Raider uh, until we finish the remastered. Still got to finish up 3 and then we got to do the expansion for that. So we still got a few streams of that last, uh, to left I'm sure. And then, yeah, then we're clear up and we can uh, move on to something else. We might see some original Final Fantasy VII and uh, possibly get into some Chrono Trigger or maybe something else. So might be juggling multiple games again. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, you guys take care. Have a good night. See you next time.